Yes.
Hello and ow, welcome <laughs> to the Licha stream. I will be your host for today and we will be doing some commentary on the World Cup. I don't know how quiet or loud I can be, I'm sorry, wait a second. Um, this is how it goes, yes. Okay, wait a second, let me just see it. Okay, here we go. Let me see what the chat is saying. Hello. <laughs> um, 
girls will go home. What do you mean girls will go home? If girls go home, also boys will go home because we're playing in the same playing hall. Um, hope it sounds fine. Okay, great. Um, the camera, the camera angle is not really nice. Uh, my the lightning is not amazing, but it's okay. <laughs> um, okay, just give me a sec. Oh, Giri, not girls. Oh, sorry, I read it wrong. I, I read it, <laughs> read it wrong. Uh, yeah, okay, so by the way, I am in Sochi. I'm commentating exactly from the World Cup. This is the background. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> um, okay, so I'm not in the playing hall. If I were in the playing hall, I would have to be quiet because we all know that during the chess game, you have to be 100% quiet um, so I am in the press room where they are going to be doing some interviews after as well oh my god Look terrible uh, yeah so that's what we're doing today hello Paul hello hello Rukamuda what's up okay so yes so we will check uh, a lot of games today and we're gonna obviously start from the top and we're gonna check with Yugo Shiro that's very exciting they probably I heard there's a lot of theory there yes how is it like in Sochi it's great it's very sunny there are mountains it's very very nice oh well there are so many lines here but now there are already much less players I was uh, yesterday there was a huge Armageddon I don't know if you watched it um, Chaparino against Svan Erasmus they played Armageddon and Badelka against Matnadze uh, and the last one was very exciting to watch I do recommend you watch a YouTube video uh, for back because it really was pretty exciting yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I was watching it here live um, from the press center, but that's basically all you can do. Okay, so we're gonna check uh, the men's World Cup first, but keep in mind that there's also Women's World Cup, which is equally as entertaining. Uh, Goryachkin is playing Lagman's play because the new Kramling is uh, happening today, which, you know, it's always very nice to watch. So we're just gonna check. <laughs> that was breathtaking for sure. Okay, so I hope it's not too loud when I make the move. So I'm just gonna mute the, the computer. Okay, so Magnus is white, he's playing his countryman Tari today. Um, I guess Tari also won pretty convincingly, and now there's gonna be a Norwegian derby. And C4, E6, G3, D5, G2, G2, he took on C4. So this is very fine for black, actually. I don't know why... Oh, C5, okay. I don't know why Magnus went for it, but actually this is a very fine opening for, for black. Yes, I would usually go Knight D7 just because then here... Yeah, okay, you have some tricks going C5 immediately. Oh yeah, I actually play this with black c5, and the threat is a6, b5, for example, knight f3, a6 already, queen c2, and b5. Um, I don't know if b5 is the right move here, but okay, maybe knight f6 first, let's say castle, and then b5, yeah, that's a bit more... I actually play this against Zimi now, we played exactly this line, and black is doing absolutely fine in this position. So... Uh, but no, Tari didn't go knight 7 Tari went c6, queen c4, and c5, which is like very weird. First you move the pawn on c6 and then on c5. Why? If you could go knight 7 first, then you would have one more piece that's developed. But maybe his idea is to go knight c6 in the future, because of course knight is better on c6 than on d7. Hey, dear kids, hello. There's also Indian Derby. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, yes, there's so many derby state and it's gonna be very very exciting for sure. Okay, so then let's let's just see what happened. B3 and knight of six play. 
Um, but like you see here also, uh, Arian, he thought nine minutes for this move, which knight of six. But okay, what's the idea? Like, let's say bishop e2, bishop e7, knight f3, castle, castle, or something, or knight c3. Mm. So I, I'm saying this is good for black. I mean, good. It's okay for black just because white doesn't have a center. Like, whenever white goes d4, it will just take it. So white will not have any advantage in the center, which, you know, usually if you're white, you would like to take the center and keep it as well. But in this case, you don't, will never have the center. So that's why we'll have to play for the peace activity. But I think it's going to be a very entertaining match. You're still in photo chess? That's cool. She's also here. I met her. She's really nice. Okay, so let's let's just check. Um, so, oh, gi okay, so you, the Satur is playing Giri. I see now. Okay, you guys are saying Giri is going home. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, let's just check. Uh, so, there's another story that's happened here. Uh, I don't know if you guys are aware of it, but Diana Corana in the first round was playing an opponent um, that actually got COVID. So during the, then during the game, they found the result. So the game was immediately stopped during the game. And everybody had to go to quarantine, like Karana and his opponent. Um, and then Karana got tested and he was negative. So, <laughs> so um, it was not sure if he was going to play the second round at all, but he was negative. So everything's fine. Hello, photo chess. Okay, can you confirm that Jessie Faber has become your best friend there? <laughs> no, she was, she's so cute, she's so adorable, she's the best, yeah. But I, I've met Nemo, but I have not really met Eric Rosen, like, I've met him for one minute. Um, Why isn't Nakamura playing the World Cup? I think that Nakamura didn't qualify for the World Cup because World Cup is a prestigious tournament. Even if you get knocked out in round one, it's a big, big achievement if you even get qualified for the tournament. Uh, and it's really, really hard to get qualified at all. So that's how it works. Uh, oh, sorry, this is not the right game. So, okay, let's just check what uh, Fabiano is playing with black very quickly. Then we go to the Vitugo Shiro game. So, with Catalan, the Catalan, Karana takes on c4. I actually planned to play this as well against Mamazaba in case she played to d4, but she didn't. c5 already very active, knight c6. Yeah, and here, white actually has a few options, I think. Um, I'm not really, I actually, actually I forgot a bit, I think knight a3 is an option as well or something. But uh, I know this exists as well. Takes, takes, exchange the queens. Yes, knight a2, c3. So now basically we have a position where white has worse pawn structure, but he has an open b file, so that's what he's going to be playing on. While um, this pawn structure will haunt him for the rest of the game. Uh, which is going to be hard. So basically he has to take advantage of this and maybe the peace development as well. 93, 94. Oh, he took. Well, <laughs> I was like, it's gonna haunt him forever. But no, he already corrected his pawns. So actually white is doing completely fine already. I mean, I wouldn't say that he's much better, but I would say like he's a pawn on d4, e4 might be coming in the future, not now, not yet. First prepared bishop b2, oh sorry, bishop b2, maybe bishop b2, mm, rook c1, e4, maybe d5, and then this can be a pass pawn. So actually, I, I like white's position, but this is very equalish so far. <laughs> it haunted him for one move, yeah, it haunted him for one move. Even if he got qualified, he wouldn't play. You think so, he, that he wouldn't play? Maybe he would find some excuse, you don't know. Yeah, <laughs> Kumar literally doesn't care. <laughs> yeah, Jelly has become everyone's bestie, true. One move is a long time depending on how long you calculate true. When I was playing in the World Cup, I actually calculated like 30 minutes for one move. It was the worst 
thing ever. Yeah, yeah, so well. Hello, Davo, I'm doing great, doing great. The camera is not like, the camera is good, but I'm so sad that there's such a bad lightning here. I look like I'm so tired, but I swear I'm not. I swear I'm okay. <laughs> um, okay. Anyway, so let's check the, the exciting game between the Hugo and Cheryl. Let me just find it where it is. Um, tank, 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 where are you? <laughs> Wait, where are you? Did it at Hiban? Okay, Michal and Drake. And oh my god, so many interesting games today. I'm so excited to see it. Okay, thank you, Nestes. Thank you, thank you, Omar. That's nice. <laughs> um, no, 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 no stress. Of course, no stress. You know what I mean? Control F to find it. No, it, like I will just scroll. There are only 32 games, so it's not really hard to find. Okay, let's just see what happened. Did you go? Nikita, I think that Hugo is actually an expert in the French defense himself. So hopefully tomorrow we're gonna see some stuff there. Yeah, sure did go through, and I think pretty convincingly. Uh, he he beat his opponent 2-0 in the rapid games, so that was very convincing. So d4, d5, four, c6. We have the slot defense, and bishop g5. This is the well, slow, classical. Uh, e4, oh my god, they're playing this line. Okay, so this line has a huge history. In fact, I think this line goes back for hundreds of years. Oh, maybe hundred years is a good number. Uh, I remember when I had my first coach, uh, he taught me this line because this line was very aggressive and he was a very aggressive player himself. So I knew this, I used to know this opening very, very well. So e5, a6, bishop, h4, and g5 is the main move. I can't believe that even though the computers develop so much, this is still a good line. So takes, 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 knight d7, and g3. Actually, that's exactly what he taught me, g3. Bishop b7, bishop g2. Queen b6, now you take on f6, now that the queen is not pinned anymore. Long castle, and queen g4. And this was all preparation from Vitugo, Queen G4, still the, in the prep. Also, I think Shiro is still in the prep. Ah, no, okay, so Queen G4 played and um, Shiro is now out of prep or was out of prep because he was thinking for about 25 minutes just to play before. As you can see, the time has changed from 1 hour 35 to 1 hour 11. But Nick, yeah. Um, and let's see if Hugo was still in the prep. So he played knight 4 so I guess he was, because he, it took him like one minute to play this move. So that's uh, very, very, very interesting. Yeah, so there's drama on the board. It's very exciting. Um, G5 go. <laughs> um, thought he was losing. Yeah, I guess he wasn't. Did you have a chance to talk to Gnai? Uh, no, no. Well, we, I had a chance to talk to her, but I chose not to. Uh, there's no reason to talk to her. I don't know. <laughs> Vitu has written the book on the French. Uh, I'm studying book chemistry. Uh, Vitu is not feeling so comfortable in this line. Sure loves it. Well, uh, maybe Shiro does love it, but Vitugo did prepare Queen G4, which I think could even be a novelty or could be a very rare move to play. G5, yeah. Um. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, I, <laughs> what do I have to talk about? I, I know what I did wrong. I know I did mistakes myself. She did everything okay. I have nothing to discuss with her, I, I knew exactly, even during the game, uh, I knew exactly what I did wrong. I didn't even have to turn on the computer to know what went wrong. Um, she seems cool. I, I'm, I'm sure she's cool. But she's staying in a different hotel, so yeah, I didn't talk to her before that or after that. Um, so 
now we have a, let, let us quickly see what black can even play in this position what's his idea of course the first move like computer suggests is queen d4 hmm because what would be white threat white doesn't really have a threat sometimes i thought that the move for black would be c5 so let's just quickly check what's wrong with c5 c5 rook c1 um and that's just like winning or something huh? like it's so funny that it's already winning um so that doesn't work let's just check queen d4 queen d4 okay first move that comes to my mind is of course rook d1 bishop e3 i would not really consider queen e2 immediately um <laughs> That timing. <laughs> okay. Um, damn, Rucha looks different too. Uh, different how to make sense, yeah. Gushik is off on time, that's insane. Okay, let's just quickly check what can actually wa uh, White even do. I'm just gonna check, you know, I'm, I'm gonna turn on the computer because. I really don't know, but apparently Queen E2, like as on Liches, is the only move. So actually, this is going to be very exciting. Wait, this was played. Wait, this was played. Oh my God, this was played immediately by Vitugo. So he knew he still is in the prep. Queen E2 preparation, insane, insane. This is some deep, 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 deep preparation by the Hugo. Hello, Wishon. Happy Algerian bomb force. No, they're not going home. Come on. Uh, did any chess players say hi to you because they know you from the Chiquita channel? No, like chess players don't really communicate here that often, but I've only talked to people that I knew before. Um, also, I met all the streamers, so. <laughs> That's what I was doing here. Um, okay, so let's check. Um, let's check now. Let's. You know what? If you say that Gyu is going home, let's check his game because that's mean, and we don't want to be mean. Let's see. D forty five, C forty six. Also the slow. Okay. With queen b3, that's a very nice opening by Nodirbeck. Um, so this is all an opening. I, I used to play this myself as well. This is still all theory with e3 as well. Rook d1 and just... So the problem when you're playing black in this position is yes, the computer says it's 0-0, zero, zero, but any wrong move E4 is coming, and then maybe E5 or even D5. The center is very dangerous, very strong, and you really cannot open C5, E5, at least not with the rook on D1 yet. But of course, that's what black wants to do. Like ideally for black would be to go queen B6 and C5 probably to open up the center, you know, get some space. But otherwise, white is doing pretty fine. I mean, yes, the computer says it's zero, 0 but practically speaking, it's much easier to play for white. Except, of course, if you know theory until move 35. Um, b4, knight f4, queen e5, b3, queen b5. Is this prep? This could still be prep from Anish Giri. Let's just see where they stop the prep. Oh, queen e2 was already unknown by Noderbeck. Um, well, Giri. I think he knows this. He knows this. Um, so yeah, this is pretty nice. Queen Queen B5 is a pretty pretty nice move. Of course, you don't want to take this just because then the knight would have to return here, and the, your pieces are just so undeveloped. Knight is coming to C3. Yes, these are the double pawns, but black opened the c file and he is standing on it so basically black is doing perfectly fine for that reason in this position another back plate queen f1 um queen f1 is a computer move and 
I have to be honest, I probably would never play queen f1. I would play bishop f1 before queen f1, actually. But see, like, that's, that's, a, that's a bad move. So queen f1, a computer move by, by Nodder back. Very nice. Swiddler is playing. Yes, Swiddler is playing. I don't think he was knocked out yet, but we will check his game as well. Oh, Swiddler just made a draw. Okay, sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the Chipperino is Hitler going to beer already. Um, you're buying a tractor hoodie? Okay, we're making merch, no worries. Just another step here in the kingdom world. Yes, it's true. I'm not returning from Sochi until everybody will follow the Chiquitas channel. By the way, I'm a Twitch streamer myself, so yeah, that's it's on Chiquitas. Um, <laughs> I'm streaming from Sochi. I'm streaming from the official press conference room. Um, I'm almost next to the official streamers, so it's pretty exciting. Great games, thank you. I will be analyzing my games on my own channel, on Chiquita's channel. Um, so not here. Here I will just be analyzing the live games because they're really exciting to watch and I myself, hopefully you as well, learn a lot from them. So I will be in Sochi for one more week until 24th. I'm from Slovenia. Okay, so Queen F1 played and now Gary is thinking, I mean, this is very equal position. Um, and you know what, we're gonna come back to it, we'll see what's gonna happen. Let's see, Grischuk is up on time apparently, so let's check what happened here. Hey, baby. <laughs> Hello, Chiquitas. Yes, so Chiquitas in the chat. These are, this is my streaming platform, the Chiquitas. <laughs> so everybody should follow the Chiquitas. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. <laughs> Dual personality. <laughs> True. Um, so let's just quickly check the game. Um, d4, knight f6, c4, e6, knight f3, d5. So the classical queen's gambit here, bishop b4. I also play this myself. And I also go queen a4 very, very, very often. So I'm glad that I played the same opening as Grishchuk. That's only a nice thing. Knight, knight uh, c6, a3, bishop c3, okay. Okay, takes, takes, queen c2. So you always go queen c2 here just because this is very uncomfortable. So queen c2, castle, bishop g5, it's bishop h4, oh, g5. Okay, g5 by Pichot. Wow, okay, I didn't expect that. Usually you don't do this just because if you look at the position, this is a very like a classical structure, like white will go e3, bishop d3, castle, c4, or e4, and black will go right hook here. Yes, this pin is very uncomfortable, I would agree. I just didn't expect to go g5. It's actually a good move as well, but it's it's a very straightforward, I would say. Just, okay. Because why it doesn't really have to castle now because they can just start attacking but we will see so knight e4 played by Pichon. hmm i guess the threat here for black is f5 and 4 threatening the bishop on g3 but that's why white has to do something about it like white cannot go h4 just because then this pawn structure would be terrible for for white what is the possible move here? Guys, what do you think is a possible move here? Yeah, I'm the gangster in the opening, like Gersh Chuck, yes. Oh, hello, Editsovsky, what's up? Or, yeah, or is it Jerry? Farming followers on Licha's channel. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, ah, yes, that's what I do. That's my job. <laughs> Oh, you don't see who is black, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I will fix that. Here you go, I think now it should be better. 
oh yeah, but I see yeah, that the, the board moved a bit. I, I, I actually was fixing it before the game and I see yeah, that the, move, the board moved a bit. So I think now it should be fine, but if it's not, please tell me, I will fix I will try to fix it, you know, try to fix it. Board was fine? Okay, no, it's fine. That's good, That's good to know, okay. Um, next, you need to get in time trouble like him. I, I get in time trouble like him all the time. I mean, like you cannot really get in time trouble like Gershchuk, but I try, you know, but he's the legend. In time trouble. Hello to 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 Knossi. Yeah, again G5. Yeah, straight bullet again. G5. We have so many G5s on the board. Um, C4. It's fine. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, Gopo. Hello, hello. You need to scroll. C4, G4, C, D, G, F. Okay. So people are saying C4. That's pretty. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. We will be looking at Goyachkin game. I can't wait to look at their games as well. I'm just um, going very slowly. Sorry for that. Uh, hello, Chess Lions as well. I'm just greeting the chat. You know, um, Topalo won a nice game against Chipperino. Yeah, I believe that. Okay, so. Oh, you added the question mark. Okay, okay. So C4. Okay, so C4. I don't really think it's a good move just because. Your development is terrible. I will not cast along. I will try to cast with short, or the king will stay in the center. What I don't like about c4, very logical, like you're attacking the center and so on, but I would be first of all. In Hello, I think we're back. I think we're back. Um, we crashed for some reason, but I don't exactly know why. But it's fine, we're back. Is your Wi-Fi working? Yeah. It seems to be down now. It's working. Is it? Yeah. Like, it's working here as well. Oh, but, okay. Hmm. But now we're back. It work, works again. But I guess... You're using um, Wi-Fi, right? Yeah. Oh, message me. Okay. So, <laughs> I don't know what happened, but the internet went down. I don't exactly know. Uh, but I think we're back, right? Thanks, Maria. Oh, you guys already know it's Maria. Yes, yes, she is <laughs> our savior. <laughs> you can see me now. That's great. Okay. Yeah, I hope we're not gonna have so much cyber attack with chess.com. <laughs> That's true. So she internet wasn't ready for my commentary. No. Okay. Let's uh, let's check the game. Um, so yeah, we're still we're still in this position. Okay. <laughs> okay. So ninety four here. Yeah, it's a very uncomfortable position. So what I would do is go e three. But again, I don't know. Should I feel comfortable or not here? Because look, here the best move should be like bishop d three, and after h four, like goes here and f six and c four. This is not the best move to do. This is the best line. And this is like, of course, probably they're gonna see it, but like, because after this, you just take here, attacking this one and this one, and he cannot protect both. But look, this is a crazy position. Takes, takes. Oh no, you have to take with a queen. And 97. And that's a pretty, pretty, well, that's a big mess. But look, from this position, it can really become big mad, but of course it really seems very natural to me. Just you have to see that after h5 that you go bishop d3. You can also go c4 actually, but c4 doesn't make a lot of sense. It's basically the same, but again, like bishop d5, bishop d3, h4, and again, like this is, yeah, this can become a big, big mess. Okay, so... That's why we're gonna move on to a different game, let them think a bit. You know what, we can move on to women's section as well. Maybe check MVL. Maybe check MVL's game uh, very, very briefly. 
e3 f5 bishop d3 f4 oh no after f5 there's gonna be a different line let's just check so knight e4 e3 f5 you just go i think you can go bishop e3 uh, bishop e5 i don't i don't think that's a problem but yes after this f why you take take oh because you have bishop h4 so that's you have the solution if he goes f5 you have the solution after f5 you you should not worry about it because yeah after this everything like your bishop is finally free from the position but i think that um like i don't think bishop e5 is that wrong well, I'm wrong because g4 is coming, so apparently g4 is very dangerous, yeah. I mean, dangerous just because the knight is very, very terrible, and then, of course, he takes it, and then he, you're losing the e5 pawn. And if you lose this pawn, you're basically losing the position very soon. So, yeah, that's, that's yeah, okay, good, good, good. Yeah, let's check Enviel's game. I <laughs> just came here for the view. Did Enviel come here for the view? We will see right now. Okay, so e4, c5, knight f3, knight c6, d4, takes, takes. Of course, they're playing the Sicilian, like, what did you guys expect? I don't know why, what I expected, but d5, there's... Oh, wait, Enlil's actually not in the opening book. Wait, 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 did he not expect the Sicilian? Oh, he did not expect g6. So Enviel didn't expect g6, he didn't prep for that, maybe. Pawn structure destroyed. So Enviel didn't prepare for g6, very interesting. So knight c3, knight bishop g7, ta ta ta. So of course Parviani is still in the opening. That's still his prep, well, this is not Enviel's prep. Oh, the, in the other game, okay. Okay, okay. He should know from experience how to play this true. Yeah, I think so too. I think so too. So takes, 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 takes. Like Parvian still in the opening, of course. And okay, we're having a very interesting position. Let's just go to the final position we're having. So this is the final position. Okay, so from the theory, I mean we have two bishops against two bishops on the heavy pieces still on the board. The only thing that's imbalanced is the pawn structure. So here, as you can see, we have uh, three pawns against two, so there's a majority here, and we have minority here. However, these two pawns are very far apart, and that's why Enviel goes b3. He's basically asking him to take on c3 so he can go rook c1 and take this one to make this bishop or the rook even more active than he can but again like this is very cool by material by the position but whenever there's a pawn imbalance there's a chance that something can turn around but i don't think that in this game it will uh, for example if his opponent goes queen e6 again probably if something like rook c1 happens and then like this pawn stays here and it's gonna be a weakness in the future i think i don't know Hopefully, I, I think that's what he's hoping for. Um, so, I mean, if I were black, I would just take this one, exchange this one for this one, and we go on. And the other rhymes with neither. <laughs> True. Okay. So now we can go to check um, the other World Cup, the Women's World Cup. We're gonna check uh, the Goyachkin's game. Just let me change something here. Let me just change something here. I was playing at the World Cup. I was playing, but I got knocked out by Gunai Mamadzada. Um, so let's put this game, yeah, perfect. So I'm already knocked out of the tournament, but like I said, it's already a privilege just to qualify for the tournament, so it's okay. Mm, let's see what's going on here. Oh, okay. Wait a second. Okay, let's see what's going on here. New hair color? Yes. Okay. 
So let's see what happens. So Goryachina is playing Badal Kolga, like I said at the beginning of the stream. Um, Badalka had a very, very, very intense match against Matnadziana. So, first of all, both classical games started with a draw, but apparently Badalka was winning every single game they played in the classical. And then it came the tie breaks, because they had to play the tie breaks due to 1-1 one, one score. And uh, in the first rapid tie breaks it was a draw, in the second one it was 1-1 one, one as well. And then came the Blitz games, it was 1-1 one, one as well. And they had to play the Armageddon. After six hours of playing, no it was actually after five hours of playing rapid, 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 Blitz, Blitz, they had to play the Armageddon. And <laughs> yeah, it was very tricky. Um, like basically, yeah, it's it's a lo it's a how do you say it? A joker, a loto. Anything can happen. Um, but like I mean, a game should be decided. If there's equal in classical, in both rapids and a blitz, then what can you do? You have to decide a game one way or another. I don't think bullet is the right way to decide the game. But so Armageddon is a better option for that reason. And yeah, but Adolka won at the end, and now she's playing Goyachkina. Commented it's more fun, yes. <laughs> Commented it's more fun for sure. Uh, shouldn't have Matnadze have upheld in for uh, in the Armageddon? Well, I don't know. Well, what about Badoka? I mean, Matnadze's pieces were also all over the place. Like both pieces were were not even on the board. So I think both could have appealed. Yes, it was very weird, of course, but. I don't know what, what should have they done. I don't know. Oh, thank you, Titan. Uh, both pieces were not on the correct squares. I mean, what can you do? If both players are not playing correctly, at least then the player that wins on time should be the winner. I mean, that's fair to me. It's terrible for what happened, but I, to me, that was completely fair. Okay, so... <laughs> Any update on COVID situation? Uh, no updates yet, but... So far, I don't think anybody had forfeited yet. Like in the previous rounds, they have, but in this round, I don't think anything happened. But we'll see. Yeah, of course, there is a video about it. Actually, we can uh, watch it during the break or something. I think that would be pretty exciting for, for you guys. If you have not seen it yet, we can watch it later. Zavalian um, is no, 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 don't, don't be sorry. You know, you lose and you learn. That's how I take it. So D4, Knight of Six. She was for the, again, we have the Catalan. That's very cool. With Bishop E7, okay. She takes Queen C2 and A6. Okay, this is one of the main lines. I don't know why I expected Badoka to go B6. Um, she just seems like the type of person to go B6 here, but She's not um, playing the blitz here, she's playing a classical chess, so she's playing the main line with a6, a4, c5. Oh, c5, wait. So here the main line is bishop 7 and after queen c4, bishop c6. And then, for example, white can go bishop f4 or g5. Uh, for example, after bishop f4, um, I play this, I should know this. I mean, you can go bishop d6, I think that's one move, the other move is a5. Maybe the third move is also knight d7. You have a lot of options here. I think this is also an option, but it's not so great. However, I mean, yeah, this is just basically cool. So, Balanca goes c5. Um, so, yeah, c5 and... I'm trying to recall if I ever actually saw this opening and I really don't think I have. So I'm really curious to see what Goyachina had decided to play. I think she knew it because she took only two minutes to play to take on c5, takes takes, and she goes knight d2, which is really cool. You want your knight on c4, not your queen, which is very, very nice. And you go rook d1 and then bishop f4 and then some knight d6 can be coming in the future, which is very, very nice. That's why Babaka goes b5, but to me that's so weird. 
Because I would immediately take here. But of course, Padlaka prepared Bishop B7. I think that's what uh, she must have prepared the Bishop B7. And she's doing fine. That's why um, Virach can go to 95. Of course, attacking the rook. And at the same time, as being like giving some potential threats in the future, not now, but in the future. After rook 7 you go 94 and takes, takes. And after, oh no, the, the bishop is hanging, sorry. So the bishop moves, let's say here. And then you go back, g6. And again, 94, that's so weird. And white is just so much better here. Just because white has so many threats of bishop g5, bishop h6. And this bishop is just so, so, so good. Um, so yeah, that's why um, in this position, Actually, this happened. So knight g5 happened. Um, rook a7, knight here takes takes, and here, aha, uh -huh, here Badaka, oh, knowing what to do, she played bishop d4, which is the best move, of course. Again, knight g5 back, g6. She takes, 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 knight d4, and bishop d4. Wow, Badelka played this. I mean, she's not prepared anymore. I think here, yeah, for Bishop d4, she was thinking for 20 minutes. So she's not in her opening preparation anymore, but she handles this very well. Bishop d4 is a great move just because, of course, like there are many, big, there were many big threats of Bishop g5, Bishop h6, but now everything is covered by Bishop g7. For example, Bishop h6, Bishop g7 and like takes takes and actually black is a pawn up um let, let's just check rook d1 queen seven i was thinking queen c3 but no not even that so this and after this you what take the pawn okay. and this is apparently like slightly better for white and Interesting, very interesting. Yeah, let me check the chat a little bit. Also, YouTube chat, I have you. Hello, good morning. <laughs> okay, um, so let me see. But Nazi was literally winning on the board, but it doesn't matter if you're winning on the board if you lose on time. Um, <laughs> Ryashkin is almost as strong as Tifan. Yes, that's gonna be really cool. Hopefully, they're gonna play a match or something. Um, yeah, I had a tough opponent for sure. When bo both had 10 seconds, Battle Cup pressed the clot even though her piece fell down for two moves in a row. Yeah, 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 but she, like, you have to be a bit of a dirty player. You have to think for yourself in this situation because if you're being polite and kind to your opponent and respectful, you're gonna lose the Armageddon and you're out of the tournament. You don't have the money, you're out of the tournament, and it's over for you. So basically, you have to be disrespectful uh, in this in this position where you are, just basically how it is. Uh, there should be increment from move one. No, 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 for sure no. Then everybody would be picking black, for sure. Yeah, there's a footage of that. Yeah, we, sh we should definitely watch it. Hello, hello. Your commander is so better. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> Will Magnus win the tournament? We'll see. I think he has pretty good chances. Uh, thinking for 20 minutes and move, you know, some players sitting 40, I feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Swiddler already drew. Okay, yes. Wait, let's check that. I mean, spitting facts. What can you do? I'm staying in Sochi right now. We are in Sochi right now. We are in the press room. You can see all the sponsors of the FIDE World Cup. Um, I don't know how well do you see the camera, but let me just show you. Like you can see the FIDE World Cup right there. So we are in the official room um, here. Okay. Uh, kick them all the down, true. Abolish Armageddon, but what do you do? What do you do if you don't have Armageddon? Like I said, 
Classical games, 1-1. One, one. First rapid, 1-1. One, one. Second rapid, 1-1. One, one. Blitz games, 1-1. One, one. What do you do if, like, bullet is even worse than Armageddon? Bye, Paul. Bye, Paul. Hope you're going to have a nice day and see you soon. Well, I'm actually taking over from Jesse. Literally taking over from Jesse. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not disappointed. Why would I be disappointed? I, I gave it my all. My opponent, I knew my opponent was really strong. I don't know if you follow the chess world, but I follow the chess world very often. And my opponent is a professional chess player. And it's hard to play people that work six hours a day just for chess. Well, I only had one week to prepare because I had exams in the university before. So I didn't expect anything much anyway, so it's okay. Uh, now we have freedom to party with Joe Bauer. Oh, guys, 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 guys. You could play Paris 3 plus 2 until 1 is decisive. Yeah, I was thinking too that you like play four games of Blitz, but again, what if this is decided as well? Like, what if this is, let's say, 2 2 again? Or 1 1 1 1 again? You cannot play Blitz forever. Right? You have to decide the game somehow. I said about chemistry. Uh, they should play Armageddon in laptops. <laughs> That's so smart. <laughs> That's so smart. <laughs> okay, let's just check the game quickly. Um, so Bishop D4 is still on the board and the Yajpin is thinking. So I think that Badal Cup played very, very well this opening. It's very, very exciting. Um, okay, so. Let me just check which game we can um, check now. Okay. Um, we have the Mongolian player whose name I cannot pronounce for the life of me. Mon Monguntul Batkuyag. That's the last time I'm pronouncing her name. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I know she's Mongolian. <laughs> Um, against Katrina Lahno, I can say her name very easily. So, Katrina, she's uh, also very, very, very strong. So, I'm just really curious to see what, what they're gonna play. It was awesome. I'm so sorry. Good effort. I'm so sorry. I don't mean any disrespect to the, to the players. Um, of course, I know she's extremely strong. I mean, she's 24 30. That's a high rating to have. Yes. <laughs> Please just firing me after this. <laughs> okay, now this is Bishop G5. Bishop G5. So we have, um, this is not Spanish. This is the other thing, it's not Spanish, which I currently just forgot how it's called. So I'm just gonna check if there's any openings. It's Rui Lopez de Berlin. Okay, cool. Oops. It's Rui Lopez. Okay, good, good, good. Rui Lopez. Makes sense. Makes sense. Um, Bishop at 63, uh, sorry, da, 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 um, knight 2, castle, castle, rookie 8. <sighs> so I don't play this, so I really don't know, I have much to say about it, but the players also seem to be out of the opening since here. So Katrina was thinking here for a long time, as well as was the Mongolian player. So basically they're out of theory, which means that this is November, very exciting to, to watch, for sure. But Jung, Mungunta. Okay, no, it's fine, it's okay, okay. Okay, so let's check the position. So we're in this position right now. So this pawn is hanging, however, the c6 pawn is also hanging with it. Bishop a6 is an option, but computer strongly recommends taking when d1, takes, takes, and knight takes. What do you do after this? Oh, no, the f2 is hanging, I'm sorry. Of course, the f2 is hanging, which is very uncomfortable. And if you have to go here, yeah, okay. I mean, the thing is that black has bishop pairs so far, and also um, black pieces are extremely active and are going to continue to be active. Um, and that's why black has advantage. Even though he has terrible pawn structure, he has advantage for the trees. And imagine if the pawns were like this, black would have even bigger advantage. But now that, um, now that um, the pawns are like this, you know, also if the endgame comes, black can 
end up being worse. But so this is the position they're having right now. So why these two things? So what happened is that they did exchange the queens and uh, Lagno went ninety four. So this is the position they're having right now. <laughs> no, it's okay. Maybe five plus two versus three plus two could be an option to compensate the draw odds. I don't know, if I had five plus two against three plus two, I would always take three plus two. Always. Just if I had a draw, I would always take three plus two. <laughs> um, I don't think three plus one though, that's a different option, but I don't know. I just don't think that's as fair. Okay, so let's see what else we can watch here. Muzichuk against Ushina, the Ukrainian Derby. The Ukrainian Derby. Um, let's see what they decided to prepare. So, again, okay, five, okay. They decided to play this. This is the Russian game. Really, this is called a Russian game? That's pretty cool. Um, okay. So actually, I've never seen this before. I don't know if any of you guys play this, but I actually have not seen this before. And it actually looks pretty interesting. Queen e2, takes, takes. The pawn is gone. However, this is still equal because the d5 is going to be lost. So castles and queen d5. This is very equal. All the pieces are being exchanged. Um, for example, now the best move for white is to take here. The queen takes here and queen c7. Rook c8, which, whichever rook, and of course rook c2. So this is what computer's first line is supposed to be 0, 0. Ukrainians playing Russian. Yeah, Ukrainians playing Russian. So. Will we have a sister matchup next round? Maybe. May happen. May happen. So, by the way, yeah, this is what's going on here, and this is very, very equal, I think. So, yeah, I think this is not so exciting. If you guys have any exciting games, I would, I would love to see them as well. Um... um mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what this. So the French Wishar is playing Mitsuchuk Anna. So Wishar in the first round she had a bit of complications as so she has to go had to go to tie breaks against four hundred rated lower players, like or no maybe it's not four hundred, like three hundred lower player. Uh, which was unexpected, but then she played Atalik the last round. And she had no problems beating her because she prepared an opening. Uh, so let's see what's going on here. So again, the slaw with knight c3, okay. And b3, okay. Okay. So basically, black is already pushing. Like he, white put all the pieces. Sorry, black put all the pieces just on that pin. Uh, but the problem is that the next move from white is a3. Like, he will have to either take or push everything back. So for that reason, um, Muzichuk went bishop 7 immediately, immediately, just because on a3s, which what happened, she takes on c3 and then goes knight 7 and... <sighs> now, white, yeah, I like white's position. White's doing great. Before, I don't think is a necessary move, just because, I mean, the queen on a5, look at it, look at the queen at a5. What does it do? Okay, now that I'm thinking about it, bishop d3, maybe Musichuk's idea would be, let's say, takes, takes, and queen h5 in the future, maybe not now. But maybe that was her idea, so that's why Bishar played before. But d4 is not really a move. Like, just go bishop d3. You can, he cannot even castle. Like, you cannot even battle castle. Let's go h6. You castle, castle. And then rook d1. Like, look, what does this queen do? This queen has to go back. Like, let's say here. By itself. You don't even have to go before uh, in order 
to for the queen to move back. So I don't know what she was worried about. Maybe takes takes e five. I don't know what she was worried about at all. So yeah, maybe that was not the best practical approach. Just because you know this queen is really doing nothing here, and with playing before she just like tanked her in a way, like you know, like. Thank you for pushing my queen. Like I, all, I had to push it anyway. So thank you very much. Um, both have been world champions. Yes. I had completely winning position. Yeah, yeah. We watched that game. And with the two sisters, won't play each other before the finals. Yeah, I didn't check the brackets, but that's good to know that they will not be playing each other. So again, now she takes on, on d5. Basically, she just released all the tension that was in the game. Why did she take? I don't know what she was scared of. She was scared of e5, maybe. I don't know. What, actually, I really don't know what she was scared of. Takes, or maybe she was scared of takes, takes in e5 or something. But again, like then that opens up your bishop, which is not active now and if he goes e5, it's basically opening the bishop. So, okay, that's weird. So she goes for bishop d3, you know. Muzichuk, she's thinking, she doesn't have, like, she has much less time. So, I don't know, We're, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Let's see if there's any interesting games. Um, oh, crowning Kostinu. Yes, we should watch Kramling. Ooh, that's also a very interesting position. So we have Kramling Kostinuk already in round three. Yeah, let me just check the chat. Were there any piano players in any of the hotel lounges? <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, are you sure about it? We can check. I will check um, the opening tree right now. The opening tree, the the tree, you know. Just give me a second. I will check if they, they can play each other or not. Tournament tree, yes, that's what I want to check. So, Women's World Cup. So, yes, if Muzichuk Maria wins, she's either playing Kostinuk or, Kram, or, or Kramling, and then, um, yes, they will not be playing each other. They're on the other side of the brackets, yes. They will not be playing each other until the finals, yes. They're completely other side of the brackets. So Maria is in the lower one and Anna is in the higher bracket, so that's fine. They will not be playing each other, which is good. Hello, Canal. Hello, hello. You'll stop with the no chess questions. No, 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 it's fine. I'm just here to answer all of the questions. <laughs> hey, I, I'm okay. I'm okay. Um, how about you? Okay, so let's just see what else we can. We can. Okay, let's. Yeah, let's check crowning costume. And. Um, Knight is three, da da da. Okay, so we have classical. Again, bishop before. Uh, we saw this in um, Grishchuk. Yeah, Grishchuk played this. Grishchuk played this against Bishop. However, Grishchuk played queen e4, um, but Kramling played bishop g5, which is another option. Here, actually, white has a lot of options, including e3 or bishop d2, maybe even queen c2 or bishop g5. But I think that queen a4 and bishop g5 are the main lines. Queen b3 is also an option now, I remember. Queen b3 is also an option, okay. Um, bishop g5, h6, takes, takes, queen a4. Okay, she went for this, which is actually very similar to what we saw actually in the Grishchuk game, uh, except that Grishchuk didn't take on f6 but went on h4. So let's see, knight tick, e3, castle, rook c1, okay, rook d8, bishop develops, okay, takes, takes, e5. Yeah, that's always the problem. If black manages to push e5, it's just doing so much better because this bishop that's so weak gets developed, it just 
like not so well. <laughs> um, okay, so five takes. Ah, yeah, of course. Okay, so this is a very, very, very interesting trick by Costignoc. I mean, trick. Very active play by Costignoc. Like, look at this. So basically, let's just check. If d5 happens, black is forced, almost forced, to take on c3, rook takes, and then knight here. Looks a bit passive at the first, like e4, looks a bit passive. But again, c6, crushing the center. This center will be crushed in a way, in one way or another. Um, and white has not castled yet, and they have a bit of troubles. Actually, I, for some reason, I would prefer to be white here. I'm not exactly sure why, but like takes, takes. I mean, the problem is yeah, knight d4 is coming. Knight d4 is pretty, pretty bad. Or for example, castles bishop d4. Um, I'm just giving an example. For example, bishop d4, h3 takes. Take this knight, okay, like not now, but this knight on d4, if this knight disappears, would be a complete beast. This knight on d4 would be like the best piece in the universe. Of course, not now. I just realized that this is not how you, how you do. Um, but yeah, but this is not what happened. So she didn't go d5. So takes, took. But the trick is now that black cannot even take on e5 because they would be losing a whole piece. So that's why I said it's a trick or a very nice calculation by uh, Kostinyuk because Kostinyuk went queen g6 attacking this one and castled by crumbling, followed by bishop h3. And now the only good move would be knight h4. And then this, but this is so hard. This is so hard to play for white. You have to go 92, 95, yes, it's zero, zero by computer. But let's turn off the computer and let's think practically. Like you look at this position, who would you prefer to be? I mean, I think that black is a pretty good answer. Oh, we sh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's okay, it's okay. Too many childhood consumers, I don't know, it's fine, fine. Um, so, so what happened? So, bishop h3, she didn't go knight h4. But again, like, I would never play this with white. I mean, it's probably good, but I would never play this with white. This is so complicated, and there's such a big chance you will blunder something or some line or some trick or some tactic. So that's why Kremlin went 91. She went for this instead of this, because it seemed more simpler for her. 95 and Bishop H. So Kostinyuk seems to be doing so well here, but again, she has to find a good plan in this position. Literally every position is hanging, yeah. But don't worry guys, we will also be having a break. We will also watch the Battle Ka YouTube video. We will like, I will not speak 100% of the time, so it's okay. Uh, Um, okay. Uh, wait just a second. Um, okay. Can we go to Ralston on stream? I think that's what we're trying right now. That's um, that's why I was texting. Sorry, I'm so bad. Like when I'm streaming, I like I should not text. Like, yeah. Hello, ma'am. Ma'am, hello. We can spam the modes. Yeah, you will. You will spam the modes. Don't worry. Uh, what, what do you want to say? I don't know. I forgot what I wanted to say. Mm. 
I, I, you know what? Let's intermezzo. We're not gonna comment the chats for one minute. Uh -huh. I got coffee before the stream, but I forgot to drink it. So um, that's why I feel like I will have some coffee in 30 minutes. But in 30 minutes, we have still a lot of time to commentate some games, something about texting. No, no, no. I'm just like, we're trying, like, you know, get legit streamers. Yeah, 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 he's very... Oh, how do you know Eric is official photographer? He is, though. He's very busy, but maybe we can get him for 10, 15 minutes. I would love to see his commentary and his thoughts on the games or openings, because he's, he's just a great player himself. So, yeah, let's just see Queen... Uh, Bishop E2 played by... by Kremlin. And now, of course, Kosinuk is thinking, like, what is her plan? Yes, Black has very active pieces. Bishop H2, Bishop here, Knight here, Queen here, very active. So what do you do in this situation? Basically, what would you want to do is get even like the rooks active, if, if that would be possible. Um, so that's why takes, takes, and rook d2 is a pretty good option. Um, I just don't know what... Oh no, we can, I cannot go here because he's attacked by Rook and the Queen, sorry. I'm already blundering stuff. He also appeared on Jazzy's stream. Oh, that's cool. Cappuccino? Yes, Cappuccino. Um, oh no, my camera. <laughs> what? Um, okay, so this apparently would be the best thing to do and the only move would be Queen H4. The only good, like, okay move. Which is so weird. Why is it so good? Again, some tricks. This is such a tricky position. And after this, queen g3, takes, 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 takes. Oh, you don't even take this one. Oh my god, what's this? It's so weird. And you take now, and you take, you take here. Okay, so this is very complicated. I mean, not now, but like to see all of this, that's just so unclear. In this position, I think you have to trust your feeling a bit. If you have to trust your feeling, of course you have to calculate, but at the same time you have to trust your feeling that you're doing a good move as well. Um, okay. <laughs> like really going for the knockout, yeah. Coffee time, coffee breaks. Okay, so let's just see what's what's going on. So this is the position. Let's just. I'm gonna see if there's any other cool game going on just by by looking at the first side. No. Yes. What's this? So. Osibaba Bibisar from Kazakhstan. She knocked out another Kazakhstan player, Jansar Abdumalik, who was the favorite, uh, which was a very big surprise um, because Jansar just became a grandmaster. And yeah, Bibisar knocked her out in, in tie breaks, which was yeah very, very exciting to watch as well. So Bibisar is playing extremely good here, by the way. She's really playing some good chess. Um, let's just see what they played and of course Bila Kotena is really a legend from Georgia she's a great chess player I played her years ago already she's been in the chess world for years oh it's Benoni type of structure of course Benoni there it's always an exciting game uh oh Captain Lord did you oh my god that's cool you gotta trust your gut oh yeah I'm I am sitting in the interview room guys if there's gonna be an interview I'm gonna turn the computer around and you will watch the interview live, okay? Does that sound good to you? But uh, I think that's pretty, a pretty good thing. Hopefully we can do that. But until there's no one going to be here in the interview room, then um, I'm going to be commentating the games. So... So Queen, okay, so I actually played this myself with white. So apparently playing bishop, bishop before is the best move you can do against Benoni. Like everybody's saying that. 
Uh, so let's see what happens. This this bishop d7, queen d3, b5. But that's the trickiest line to play. Bishop d6, the only good move. Taking is not even good, I think. I don't know, I don't really remember, but um, there are some tricky lines here. So the thing is that, yeah, black gave up a pawn, but has b5, has c4, and that's the main idea to have in the in the Benoni type of structure. So basically black has achieved what, what he wanted and let's see how they continue the game. Queen d1, b4, knight e2, like terrible, like where's the king? Where's the king going? H4, oof. H4 is weird to play. What I would do is try to develop this bishop as soon. Um, okay. So MVL finished, maybe, I don't know if you can get MVL, but maybe he would come, I'm not sure, we'll see. Okay, um, so yeah, we're, we're going to check what happened in the game for sure. Uh, so, sorry, let me just open the, the chat again, should. Yeah, we want MVL. We do want MVL, but I don't know if MVL will be interesting in being on Leech's stream. No. Yes, Carson is playing his countryman. We have already checked our games, but of course we're going to go back to check them as well. So let's just quickly go to this. So h4, bishop g4, knight f4, knight d7. And this is now the position, which is a very dynamic position to have. Hey, Lucas, how are you doing? So yeah, this is a very interesting position to have just because white is a pawn up. White has this fast pawn. White has developed all the pieces. It's threatening to castle. What does black have? But black has something, and that is these very two strong pawns that, and also like an active piece, active pieces as well. But I don't know, for first, like, if I saw this position, I would be like, yes, white is so much better, go white, you know, that's, like, great position to have, but computers doesn't agree with me. Computer says 96, and um, what do you do? What do you do with white? D6, rook D8. Oh, <laughs> and we have already left, damn it. Damn, it's okay. I should have known. Should have known. Oh, okay, it's fine. No worries. Okay, that's too bad. We were not gonna be having MVL. <laughs> we're gonna cry. But MVL is being very serious. He he really is preparing a lot. So if he wins tomorrow, um, he might actually come here. I will ask him. So bishop e2, so this is now the game and yeah, we're, we're gonna see what's gonna happen. I'm in Sochi, yes, I am in Sochi. I am in the official, official, um, in the press room where the interviews are made. Actually, I will show you how it looks maybe. Uh, okay, let's check the men's section again. There's so many games to check. Uh, let's check the men's section again. And... Let me read the chat. H4 alpha zero move. Well, yeah, it's an alpha zero move, but well, you know, where's the king going? That's my question. So yeah, yeah, Bella knocked out my shot. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, sir, come with that. So yeah, they're not gonna interview him because they drew it. So they will interview players that are happy after the results. So they usually win the match or the game. So they will not have him today, but maybe will they have him tomorrow. But with the, for a draw, they usually don't want to have them. Okay. So, 
Let's check two new messages, okay. My chat is lacking a bit, but otherwise all good, all good, having a good time. So let's start from the top. We have a lot of exciting games, but let's start from the top again. We saw a lot of um, games already, but now we can see even more. Um, so we saw this position after knight f6, and as we can see, not a lot of things have changed because they only played like seven moves um, until they got the next position. So bishop e2, bishop e7, that was expected. Knight f3, knight c6, all expected. Castle, castles, all expected. Knight e5 by Magnus. Hmm, knight e5, very interesting move. So basically, as you can see, there's double fianchetto going on here. Both bishops looking at the opposite direction. So it's good to take advantage of that. That's why knight e5 should be a good move, just because you open this bishop, this bishop was already open, and they're just both like crisscrossing, you know. Um, but at, at the same time, white is not developed. So the rooks are not developed and the knight is not developed, which seems to be a bigger problem. Um, but it's a good move, just because, for example, just in case, if Magnus played knight c3, black could have even went e5, and then knight e4 would have been um, quite an interesting follow-up. And this knight on e4 would be quite a beast. Also, e4 would be having the future bishop is developed. So maybe that's exactly the reason. You know what, let's open the, the um, ideas. But so yeah, after knight c3, e5 seems to be a good move. Also, I was considering, yes, rook b8, b5. That's also a typical maneuver to go for in this type of position. Um, but of course, yeah, Magnus goes knight e5. Oh, Nicola, hello, hello, how are you doing? Uh, Swidler also left. They left already. Oh, they interviewed Kramling and Murthy after draws? Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Um, okay, we're going to check Nihala. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we're gonna check, we're gonna check. So knight e5, knight e5, bishop e5, knight e7, okay. So the idea would be that <laughs> Aryan he wants to exchange as many pieces as he can. And yes, this bishop um, can be very uncomfortable in this diagonal. That's why knight e7 was played and probably followed by bishop f6. So bishop e2, rook b8 first, idea um, b5 and putting the bishop on b7. Knight c3 stopping b5 and now bishop f6 played, which was the original idea from Aryan, that's why he went 97 as well. And I'm just gonna say it, like Black is having a great position out of the opening. I think this is very equal and this may maybe the first draw for Magnus Carlsen, but it's too early to say, it's only move 13. However, Magnus is down on time for 20 minutes. 20 minutes. That's a lot of time to be down on when you're also playing your fellow countryman grandmaster, right? I don't know, what do you guys think about this position and the time? It's so weird. Maybe it's not like that, maybe just the leeches is messing up, but to me that's just weird. Um, because Magnus is usually up on time, so I guess he's, that means that he's not exactly happy with the position he got with white after the opening. So we're going to see what's going to happen in the future, but let's move on to the next game. You know what, let's go for the Nihal. We have not checked his game before, and I think... Okay, or first we just check this draw from MPL. Um, so we saw this, we saw this, we saw this, and we saw it after b3. He took, rook c1, he took, and of course, yeah, this is just extremely equal position. Oh, <laughs> even found a way to repeat the moves. So, of course, black was happy with the drawing position, and white was like, yeah, you know, what do I have to play for anyway? So they just, you know, drew, repeated the same position three times, and that was it. Mm, let's see Nihal's game. Um, so B3 played by Nihal against 
another Russian grandmaster and Ray Queen Dimitri. B3 from the Indian youngster. That's um, a troll. And B6 by Andrekin. <laughs> what is this? Did they arrange this? What is this? B3, B6. That's insane. Um, Overship battle with commentary by the only non overship Chiquita. <laughs> True. Okay, what is this B3, B6? That's pretty funny. E4, B3, B7, C3. Like, what is. You know, when you're in the World Cup and you're in round three and you play B3, B6. Um, knight f6, e5, takes, takes, h4. Nihal, <laughs> it feels like he's playing the blitz game. And like he spent only one minute, so it looks like he actually prepared this. That's so weird. Oh, Nihal probably prepared this with Atiban. <laughs> True, Atiban plays b3 as well. c5, queen g4, bishop back, h5. That's so interesting to me right now. And he long castles. He long castles. And his idea then, I guess, would be to go f4, f5 as well. Of course, develop the pieces in the meantime, but a6, knight f3, oh, okay. Okay, really wonder what his idea is now. h6, king b1, b5. I really wonder what Nihal's idea is, but Nihal now has equal time as Andrekin. We saw that he was out preparing him in the opening, but now, now they have the same time. So he's thinking, that's so interesting. Yes, alpha zero plays d4, c4. So actually rook h3 is also a possibility, but d4 seems to be very ni nice. Uh, d4, let's say it takes. Oh, you don't even take because you're losing this one. I mean, that's hard thing to play. If you go here and here, and now you take, and apparently this is so much better for it. See, okay, let's, you have this position. You just gave a pawn. Would you evaluate this as much better? No, right? That's so weird. So d4 takes bishop d3, queen a5. What do you do? Bishop e4, knight here, takes this. Oh no, you cannot go. And d3, wow. I'm confused. This is like, this can turn into a huge attacking game. Takes. Okay, and this is now terribly losing because of rook a7 <laughs> what <laughs> no, this is this losing for white because of rook a7 what the hell is this i really what is this like can i just go queen e4 and now queen b3 losing again that's insane like this can actually turn into a huge 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 um attacking game Uh, yeah, B3 is the new alpha opening. Uh, the question is, okay, why do Purchase players spend way much more time in the first 10 moves than in the middle game? I So the thing is that they usually don't if they know the opening, if they prepare this. But in case they were not prepared for this, like, first of all, okay. Let me, let me explain to you how, at least for me, it works. So, <laughs> um, let's say your pro opponent surprises you in the opening. So they're prepared. They're prepared for some, a few lines probably, not just one, but you're, they're probably prepared for the line that you play the most often the most. So then you're thinking, okay, they're prepared. I have like... You know, you have a few options. You can either pick that line or that line or that line, and you have to think in a practical way. Yes, that line may be, may be worse than uh, the, the, let's say, the main line, but there's a bigger chance that 
I will throw him out of the preparation if I play that move. So first of all, you have to decide which move, which line you actually want to go for. Second thing is you have to decide which kind of position you have you would like to have after the opening. Um, so basically, you spend a lot of time just thinking about you know what would be your plan, what would be your idea, and then when you spend so much time in the opening then it's so much easier to play in the middle game because in the opening you already thought, okay, I want to go for this position and in that position I would uh, play for that, that, that idea. So maybe that's the reason. I don't know. I think it is, but it could be wrong as well. Your book plays some interesting bit range here. Okay. Which engine are you using the Liches engine? Analyze with its game. Okay, we're going to analyze with its game. Yes. You like the discussion of strategizing? Yeah, it's very interesting. Okay, so this is still the position and how is thinking. I have to say this is a very tough position to have and I can't wait to go back to it. But yes, we have Vidit Akiban, the Indian Derby as well. And I'm very excited to see this game. We have not checked it yet, so I'm just gonna check it from the beginning. What's the deepest line I have ever prepared? Uh, against... Probably against Sebag when I was white. I think I prepared until move 25 or even like more than 25. Um, so it was pretty nice to be prepared so far. Um, yeah, I think it was even more. Sometimes I prepare even to move 30, but usually it doesn't really happen. Like usually your opponent will deviate to some other line that you're not as prepared for. And then, for example, your theory stops at move 15 or even before. But if they go into the exact line that you are preparing for, then yes, you can be prepared for so much more. Hello, um, Pushpray, India, hello. I I'm going to try to become a grandmaster one day, but um, slowly, slowly. <laughs> um, Vidic is playing, yes, so we are... <laughs> actually, we were... <laughs> I don't know if I can say that, but mm, we were joking with Chiquitas, you know, if they are married, Vidit. She would only have to change one letter in her name, or she would be vidit vidit, which would be even funnier. So, <laughs> so that's uh, that's yeah, that's what we talk about at Chiquita's channel. But now this is a serious stream, okay? <laughs> okay, so now this was just six. Oh, was it gonna be the King's Indian? Let's see what they prepared. King's Indian, it is. King Indian with nice six. Actually, I played this with white. I play this exact line with white, and he goes for bishop f4, beat it. Also probably prepare this line. Uh, what I usually go for here is the move b3, and after rook b8, here there are many options. Bishop b2, knight d5. Actually, these are probably the only two good options, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know if bishop f4 is also an option, but in any case, um, bishop f4 is also an option without b3. So let's see what we did prepared. Rook b8, this is all prepared by Adhiban as well. Rook c1, eight, six. So they did rook c1 is in case your opponent goes b5. Yes, one move is to go knight d5. The other one is just to take and then play on this open c file um, as your rook is already here. And then the c7 pawn will be quite weak. Um, sometimes it's even lost. So for that reason, rook c1 is a great move, very practical. a6 played, um, d5. d5, yeah, usually you kind of wait to go d5, but I guess we did knew something or maybe saw something before. Uh, and e5 by Adhiban, also prep. Adhiban still in prep after e5. Um, bishop b2, knight d4, that's pretty active from Atiban. 91, c5, oh my god. Takes, takes, e3, knight d6, bishop c6, rook d2, knight d3, rook b8, bishop g2, h5. Oh my god, that's some... Uh, chess we're seeing right here that's some chess we're seeing right here um bishop c3 
E4. Oh my god, this is... So this is an opening that's like very hard to, to play sometimes. Just so tricky. It takes, takes, takes. H4. So basically, Archipan sacrifice the pawn. And he's much worse. <laughs> but he's playing so fast. He goes bishop g7. So why did Archibald sacrifice a pawn? Let's just quickly discuss that. Um, bishop c3, e4. Um, takes. Why did he go e4? That's so weird. Why did he go e4 actually? I guess he was calculating something and he liked it. But. I mean, like I said, this is a very hard position to play because this is a very imbalanced pawn structure. Like, look at the pawns here and the pawns are here. And it just, I, I feel like white pieces are just more active. But this is always going to be a weakness for black. So, yeah, e4 was very brave from Afghan to do. Oh, okay. <laughs> um... Okay, so yeah, bishop g7 played, and now we're having the position right now, and yeah, like Adhiban has more time than we did, but, <laughs> but yeah, that doesn't mean much, because it's a very interesting position. Okay, he mouse slipped, <laughs> he mouse slipped e4, exactly. He was coughing in the background, so yeah, this is like, there's a lot of people here, so they hear chess, 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 chess. So yes, I'm from Slovenia, yes. Do you ever memorize engine moves without understanding how they work in your prep? Sometimes it happens. For example, if I don't have a lot of time to prepare for my opponent, I don't really have time to go deeply into the game. So um, I just have to trust the computer that it's a good move, even though I don't understand it. And basically what I do is I... I I just find the reasons to play there. Okay. How do you qualify for the World Cup? There are many ways. Like, I, w I qualified from the European Championships. Uh, I was 16, so I qualified from there. Okay, guys, I think um, we're going to take a break for a few minutes, 10 minutes maybe. Um, so... I will leave you with some games, some Licha songs, and after I come back, we can watch the Armageddon from yesterday, if that's okay. I love to Mamadzada Gunai. Um, we will also check her game, she's a great player. Enjoy your coffee, thank you very much. Uh, let me just fix so that you can listen to the songs as well, and we will. Uh, I will be back with you in around 10 15 minutes and. We'll check the games when they're there. See you! Yes.
Lee Chess. Lee Chess.
VHS. Leeches. Leeches.
Chess. Lee Chess. Lee Chess. Hello, I am back. Um, I'm gonna try to find the video of Battle Car Armageddon. Um, thank you, thank you. I'm having my coffee. I had an interview in between. I have to go check the facilities if they're nice. <laughs> uh, I know video exists. Uh, so we can watch it together for sure. Coffee, coffee, my best friend. Okay, it's only two minutes long, so I guess we can handle that. I only hope that you guys will be able to hear the volume. Just give me a second. 
Just give me a second, I will manage everything. Um, how was the interview? It was nice, you will see it. Yeah, Rude, you were listening to the highest of ours. I know, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, okay, yeah, it should work. Just, okay, like this. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you. Uh, I'm gonna show you just the Armageddon. I will fix the, the so you can see it. This is gonna be small, but you know what, you're gonna see it, I guess. I guess you're gonna see it okay. So, are you excited to see it? Your savior. Oh my god, I look like I have... I'm so tired on the camera. I'm so sorry, guys. Like, I look like I have such big eyes. It's okay. It's fine, I'm fine. Mm. Is this chassis as it is? Yeah, it's very excited. Okay, so hopefully you're gonna hear the the audio. Let me just uh, hopefully hopefully you're gonna hear it. But if it, you don't, it's also not important. What's important is the video anyway. Um, okay, let's watch it. You're looking at the board, sure. Okay, let's let's watch it now. So this was from yesterday. And Babelka is white and Matnazi is black. Matnazi has to draw um, in order to win the match. And Babelka has to win. <laughs> okay, so you can see 40 seconds for Babelka, 23 for Matnazi. Um, and basically Matnazi has a good position here. I mean, as, as like, you know, in Blitz game, I would say this is a good position. Um, okay, so you can see they're both panicking, like Badalka is playing extremely fast, and here I think that Badalka will, will take a lot of time. You haven't heard Remix 3 yet? It's so good, man, it's so good. Okay, so now 17 seconds, 16, 15, 14, Badalka is 13, 12 seconds. Yes, yeah, so what she did was not good, but like, what to do, right? It's, it's Blitz. Okay, yes. Boom, boom. Like, the pieces were just not on the right square. Like, take the rook, like she just gave it three seconds, two seconds, two seconds, oh my god. <laughs> and this was the game, this was the game. This is how Badalka won the Armageddon. So this is how Badalka won the Armageddon. You guys saw it first. You guys saw it first. Well, not you didn't see it first, but you guys saw it. Um, so yeah, that's how it was won. Very, yeah, pretty unfair, I would say, but at the same time, like, yes. What do you do, really, what do you do? No, there was no dispute. I mean, what can you do? Both players were, like, the pieces were not on the right squares, and basically, like, what can you do, really, yeah? Um, no, no, when there is one second increment, no, there's two second increment after move 60. So if you reach move 60, you get the increment. Like, for example, I'm gonna show you, like, I'm gonna tell you, yesterday there were also Armageddon, Ciparino, and Svane, and it was also very, very intense, and Ciparino managed, like, he had, Ciparino, he had 20 seconds less than Svane, and he was white. So, um, it, like, I thought his flag, he will flag as well. Maybe we, I can find that as well to watch, but, um, they reached move 60 and then he got to second increment and Swan and just resigned because he was in a losing position. Almost makes me want to play faster. Yeah, same, same, same. Hello, Rafa, hello. Uh, maybe I can find that before we continue commentating as well. Um, if there is a video. Um, uh, to the corp. Oh, that's Blitz. 
there's blitz, but there's not, there's not the, if you guys don't mind, I will put it, but if you guys want to see the commentary of the games instead, I will understand that as well. But if you want to see the Armageddon from Shapurino and Svane, it was very exciting, especially the end. So uh, if you guys don't mind, I will put it. But of course, it's up to you, you guys. I will be here for two to three more hours anyway. So we have a lot of time to analyze the games. But if you have not seen the Armageddon, then then you know i will of course make it happen nobody's listening to me it's okay i'm alone i'm alone on the street um, you don't mind at all wow what don't mind Wow. Okay, so this was the Blitz game that turned into Armageddon. Hopefully the, the Wi-Fi will hold, though. I really hope it will. I think it is. Okay, so this is now already the Armageddon. Let me just fix it so you guys see it. I was watching it here live from a room next to mine that I'm, I'm staying in right now. So this was it. Hopefully you guys can see the the video well. I know it's not great, but you know you can always watch it. The line so, so basically, what happened was Chipperino absolutely uh, outplayed Svane. And here, this is where the drama started. So Chipperino was white. He was completely winning the position, but he has 20 seconds, and his bond has 31 seconds. As you can see, like he doesn't have much time. He will be the one that's gonna flag. Oh, yes. But they played really clearly. This was not like Bad Lookout on um, Chipperino match. It was a very clear win. But 12 seconds, 11. 11, okay. 10. 9. He has 9 seconds against 20 seconds. 9 seconds. 9 seconds. Whoa. 7 seconds. And he can flag, he has less time. He can flag. Okay. Queen, it's four oh, seconds. Oh, oh, oh God. Three. And wait, and he could have flagged. He, he, they don't know which move it was. Yeah, yeah, he, and he got the increment. It was move 60. An and he got the increment because Whoa. it was move 60. But they don't know on which move they are. But all they know is that on move 60, they get the increment. So, um, so yeah, this was um, very, very interesting. Like, he had two seconds left, and he could have flagged in a completely winning position with a queen up. It could have flagged, but thank God for the two second increment. It was very exciting to watch that. Uh, I was watching with uh, Victoria, she's Bulgarian, and we were cheering for her countrymen, you know? <laughs> and um, yeah, very, very exciting match for sure. Now let me fix it again. Let me fix this again. So. Let's see. Okay. When is it not required to write moves? If it's not a classical game, you're not required to write moves. So that means that in rapid games, you don't have to write moves. You can if you want to, but it will not be published anywhere. So only in classical games. Yeah, it was very scary, very, very scary. Um, yes, Mr. Burns is right. Okay, so let's check the games now a bit. Um, and we're back to watch the games. I'm gonna drink some coffee as well. And we stayed at Vidit game, but Vidit is now just winning. Apparently by computer, but, <laughs> but you never know, yeah. Huh. So what if he takes this? Just rook b1 is crushing, oh my god. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And after this, probably just... Oh my god, just queen f4 and winning. That's why, of course, Atiban took the bishop instead of queen a2, which was the best move, but actually, like, white is a pawn up, but he's plus three on the computer. 
which um, yeah but like for example the only good movie is taken with the bishop if you take with a pawn that's not as good uh, which is very tricky I mean it's very very tricky for sure um, but of course we didn't know experience he takes with the bishop and bishop c uh, rook knight c7 played let me just promote the variation so we're not gonna be mixing it up okay so this is played and now just bishop c6 and yeah this bishop is extremely extremely active and this is just winning for Vidit now it just made coffee too cheers um okay let's just go for for the magnus game um just to see what we missed uh, so da da da, we saw that. So oh, well, actually we didn't see that. Wait a second. So bishop f6 was the last move we saw. Bishop f6 was the last move we saw. And rook b1 played by Magnus. B6, very logical. If you're gonna go b5, you know b5. If you go b6, because even if you went a6, white would go a4. Um, I think. I think white could go e4. Computer doesn't say it, but. Actually, I, like, okay, that's so tricky. Why did not Aryan go for this? Because after this, there's bishop a6 winning for black. So actually, if opponent can go b5, you go for b5. I'm so weird. Like, it's so weird. I would go a6 for sure. <laughs> but again, I'm not the grandmaster, so <laughs> not yet. So um, here the best move would be knight e4 um, attacking this one. What game has been my favorite so far? I really like Vitugo Shiro, and we have not checked it yet, but we will check it for sure. But I think that one's pretty dope. And also Kremlin Kustinyuk, that was very nice. Um, we'll see how they're doing. Yeah, good question. What's your, your favorite uh, game so, so far? Please tell me. So before played by Magnus, Bishop 7 takes, takes. That's okay, very normal. Knight takes, of course, knight. Um, Bishop a3, giving some pins here, you know, but I mean, that doesn't really, like... I think this is just very equal and they will probably draw, but okay, I mean, still not over. Tricks can happen. A knight before, for example, you have to move the... You have to keep the rook here, um, otherwise knight a7 can happen. Uh, if you're not careful, uh, it's at least maybe in the future, for example, d4, knight b7, Queen here and again threatening some nice tricks here and here. So yeah, you you have to be careful. So after knight b5, which is, seems like a very very logical move, you have to go rook d7, um, which I think actually might happen. And then we'll see what Magnus will decide to do. Crumbling. Yeah yeah, <laughs> crumbling. <laughs> uh, Selina Susser Anderson was a masterpiece. When was this played, Lucas, in this World Cup? Hike versus Shark. Oh, that's nice. Let's let's watch that game actually. Let's let's find it. Let's find um, Hike versus Shark. Let me just find it. Here we go. So we have not checked that game yet, but it's, this looks very exciting. Let's just quickly, quickly go through the opening. No, no, no. It's okay. It's a joke. It's a joke. Triple queen sack? Oh. Checkmate with the two knights. Wait, wait, wait. Was this played in this World Cup or somewhere else? Can you just please tell me because I don't know. Okay, let's just see what happens. So, tuck, tuck. So, again, okay, no, this is not the King's Ninja. This is turning into Grunfold, a very closed Grunfold. Um, I think this is how it's called. I know I played this with white, but maybe I don't know the name exactly. <laughs> but I, I call it the closed green field, which might be very wrong now that I think about it. Um, so take six. Which of before I actually like white position because usually then um, you have a C file, C6 is weak. You go B3, Knight A4, Knight C5, and Knight on C5 is just a beast. But of course. Um, Jarl knows exactly how to play this position and he goes c5 um, because this is what something that you have to go for. It is something that you have to go for in this position otherwise this is just such a terrible pawn and basically if you come to an end game and if you have this pawn you're just losing. So that's why you should push it and push on baby you know. 
And this is, looks very dynamic for sure. Looks very dynamic. So basically, yeah, black now has an open king in a way, like the, the pawn structure in front of the king is not as strong, but this d4 pawn is a beast. Like it takes all of the center, all of the space, and that's black. why black should be better here, at least um, in a human way, you know. But this, yeah, this bishop is also very, very active, so that's a very nice compensation. Uh, queen e4, d3 played by Shaq, very, very nice. Takes, stakes. Basically, d3, the idea is to also open this bishop, and now, as we saw in MVL uh, Paravian, they also had similar piece sets. Oh, wait, the game was just finished. Oh my god, the game is just finished. Audio is terrible? Why is Audio terrible? Also, the camera is not great. I'm like, it's not really professional, but <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I cannot do much about it. Like a cracking sound? Um, is there, is it the audio really bad? Let me just check. Oh yeah, it's, I hear the cracking sound, yeah. I hear the cracking sound. What is this actually? But if I just, hmm. So weird. The background noise? No, I don't think it's the background noise. I don't hear the cracking in the background noise. I'm sorry for that. Um, but I don't have my microphone with me. I'm streaming from my laptop right now. Uh, so for that reason... Okay, I'm glad it's gone. Okay, at least that. Okay, so yeah, like, I wanted to say that uh, Majaro resigned. And let's see what happened, actually. Let's see what happened. So, Rook D1, I, like I thought he was doing fine with black, but he must have blundered something. Bishop D4, Bishop D1, E5. Okay, so he, he went E5, and in his open king, that was just, yeah, not so great. Oh, so he, the, the, yeah, so e5 was the biggest mistake. It doesn't look like it's such a big mistake on when you look at the move first, but basically you're just giving your opponent the chance to, to take everything. Oh my god. So he took this pawn and this pawn, and this king is terrible. Especially when you have two bishops and the queen and the rook. Oh my god, that's terrible. Oh, bishop f3. Oh god, that's so bad. Look at the after pawn, the poor pawn. Okay, and rook c1, he resigned. He just didn't want to look at this position anymore. He was like, no, I'm done with this. I'm done with this stuff. Ay, ay, ay. Because rook c7 is a trap for sure. I don't, yeah, so the problem is also that black has maybe no moves. Like, what, what can black even play? The best move is bishop e8. Come on, bishop e8, best move. Then you know the position is bad. And, like, yeah, white can just go king g2. That was too much punishment. <laughs> yeah, I don't, like, it doesn't look so terrible, but e5 is just a crushing move, a, a terrible move to play. But what's the best move, for example, bishop e2? Oh, yeah, you're offering the exchange of queens. So you should have, black should have exchanged the queens before he pushed any pawns, just because of the king safety, which makes sense, but that's unfortunate, yeah. That's unfortunate. Um, Okay, let's see if there's been any other results so far, except draw between MVL and Paravian. And there was draw between Shaprino and Swidler, they drew in like, in like five minutes, 10 minutes. I think that actually 20 minutes and the game was over. So let's just quickly check how their game went. Um, so yeah, they, they just played an opening and they repeated the moves as soon as they could. 
That's cool. That's already here. Okay, gonna check that as well. Uh, otherwise, that's all results for now. But there's so many good games going. Matlako, playing Wojtaszek, um, Shanklat Arschinko, Fedoseo Gareo. We should check all of these games. Korobu with Gorgio. I mean, Korobu is just such a favorite, but Gorgio is just playing so well in this tournament. Um, but Cruel Basim. There's so much games that we should check for sure. Uh, let's, let's just quickly check with Hugo Shiro, just because we we stopped. We already watched this game a bit, and we stopped uh, when we saw that Queen E2 was preparation from Hit Hugo. He knew, he knew it until here. In, here, Black plays 95, and Hit Hugo still knows the preparation. He castles immediately. It took him 30 seconds to castle. Queen D3. Queen d3. Mm. Rookie one again. The Hugo is still in preparation. C5. A3. Finally, the Hugo spends two minutes. Maybe he went to the toilet. <laughs> but um, of course, just two minutes to play A3. That's pretty impressive. Takes takes. A5. And here was the first time he spent. 30 minutes on one move. First time in the, the game on move 20, Vitugo was thinking for 30 minutes. Does, does Vitugo have banana for a snack? I don't know. We will ask him if he comes here. Um, if he wins this game, he actually might get some interviews because that would be a very nice win. Like the preparation was insane. So he takes him before, takes back. Knight two, c3, takes, 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 and knight e4 back, of course. That's very logical. Attacking the c3 pawn, attacking the c3 pawn, uh, you cannot really defend it. The king is pretty open, the bishop is really not developed, and it's very uncomfortable, I guess, for black to play this. Knight f3, this, this. Oh, okay, I thought black would take this one for some reason. But what happens if he does? You just take back. And this is just terrible because it's like unprotected. And after this, just rook c2. Okay, and this is just so much winning. So that's why after king g2, black went rook d3. But amazing prep. Uh, Shiro has 13 minutes. This is gonna get exciting very fast. Shiro has only 13 minutes against Vitigo's 40 minutes. Uh, now versus Carissa, we'll look at that. Um, so rook d3. And basically, yeah, the king is pretty open. These pawns are very much hanging, hangado. And I'm really curious uh, how this game is going to finish and how will Vitigo continue to play. So, yeah, GG, GG. I mean, GG, it's not really GG yet, but. So far, only three results, though. So it's very fighting day. Okay, yeah, we'll check. Um, we'll check. So Pitts already drew, let's just quickly check this game, um, quickly check this game, um, just give me a second, okay, okay, and, okay, so, uh, let's see, so Gulnar, Gulnar beat Leila um, from Georgia in tie breaks yesterday. So Gulnar really like, good shape, good shape. Leila Yakovilashvili, I cannot really say her name correctly as well, but I tried. So this was Karakhan. Wait, wait, Karakhan, yay! And with knight f6, okay, let me, I'm gonna learn something from this game. Bishop d6, bishop d3, castles, queen c2, rook e8, knight d2, and h5 is the main move, in, um, the main line. So castles, queen c7, h3, and here h4 by um, hits. I'm not sure, I don't remember this is the main move, but um, I think she knew it because she prepared this. c4, knight a6, a3, queen d8. That's a typical idea because here the idea now for black is to go bishop c7 or bishop b8 and have some tricks with queen d6 in the future, threatening queen h2 checkmate. But uh, of course you cannot do that 
right now because if you play this, you still have bishop, sorry, bishop f4 um, to, to cover. So c4, um, c5, yeah, that's not a great move just because you're giving so much space here for the knight on d5. For example, bishop b8, knight c7, knight d5, now would be a good um, maneuver. So bishop b8. Oh, and she took the knight. Okay, she took the knight, giving black two bishops, but I would be a bit scared for white, of course. I mean, this can turn into some nice, tricky, tricky game. Let's see what happened. Bishop f4, bishop f5, bishop e6, knight f4, takes takes. Now it's opposite color bishops. We will be having an interview, so guys, you will see the interview live. Okay, um, I I will be prepared, you guys, just so you know, be prepared. Um, if there's gonna be an interview, I will just shut up and put the camera very loudly, okay? Um, I will be in Sochi until 24th, because then I'm going to Switzerland to play a tournament. Um, but I will be commentating the finals on Liches, I think. I think I will be commentating the finals, but I will not be in Sochi. Um, but let's just quickly go through the game. I think this is just opposite color bishops, so they will, of course, take the draw very quickly. I, and they repeat it and it was over. Okay. But uh, I guess her goal is to be in the 
tight breaks because she went through twice in the tight breaks. So this is like something where she would feel better, of course. And she is right in general, like tight breaks and the difference of ratings or strengths is not so important anymore as one of nerves. But yeah, what was the question again? Sorry. Uh, the question was about another opponent that maybe a uh, form of this opponent uh, affected the play. Maybe they are the not a class of play safe, but rather they want to meet. Well, I think my opponent today, she's a very dynamic player, but I had the impression she's playing more safe. But I've seen other players who I've not had known for quite a long time, and they're playing as they always play. For example, like Alexander Kostyuk, she's pushing anyway, even if she is black. So I think it really matters on your nerves and on your character or on the way you uh, try to hope. Right. Okay, thank you very much. I wish you the best luck. Thank you. Yes. Just to come to speak a bit about your game, ah, okay. uh, if Thank you want you. to come on this yeah. side. So now you are <laughs> Yeah, now when I'm out, I just start commenting. <laughs> okay. You know, I have to do something. Yes. I pull this way back. Yeah. The mouse stop working just a second. Are you online? Yes, I'm live. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm streaming on the official Lichas website. And actually, we just were checking your game uh, before you ha we had uh, your interview. Uh, and I saw you play the Karakan. Yes, actually, like it was surprising for me as well that I played the Karakan. <laughs> I just decided this morning, ah, oh, Karakan looks like a good choice. But mm -hmm. I know, choke aside, actually, like. I'm not a fluent Karakan player, but somehow, like usually she played the advanced variation, so I expected that. Mm -hmm. And then the funniest part was when I looked at my uh, fellow mate from Germany, he had absolutely the same position on the board. He played the same line. Oh. But we didn't discuss that before, <laughs> and so it was very funny to see that uh, Matthias Blubaum, who is usually playing the French, decided yes. to go for this very same Karakan line. And none of you knew that. Oh, no. you, you two could have talked, like you could have known everything from When here. I checked his position, because I was sure that his knowledge of theory is better than mine, it was already too late because my knight went to a6 and his knight went oh. to d7. I thought, like, mm. Oh, yeah, <laughs> okay. I, saw, I saw knight a6. So I, h4, h4, by the way, this is preparation, right? I don't know. I just okay. thought like that h4 is a normal move yeah. here, but maybe it's a premature. I don't know. No, yeah, I didn't know either because I, I play Karakan as well, but not with knight f6. So I didn't know as well, but I knew this is an idea, of course. Um, but I think that's all good. Like, I was also very surprised with knight a6. So he played knight d7 here. No, something oh, no, is different. Maybe, okay. I don't know, maybe his queen was still on d8. Okay. And then he played knight d7, knight okay, f8. Okay, okay. So maybe he, he chose a different move order. I'm not uh -huh. sure what went different. Oh, yeah, yeah. Usually you go knight d7, knight f8. That's usually an idea, I yes, guess. Yes, but here after knight d7, c5, yeah. I don't have so much space for my pieces. Of course, yeah, that's scary. Um, you have to go back. Yeah, that's just terrible, probably. Yeah. But... Yeah, you, you won knight a6 and, okay, 3, queen d8. And c5, I thought like it's very dubious, but... Uh, yeah, it is, because you usually even want to go this by yourself, right? Yes, okay, I'm a little bit bad coordinated, but still actually gives a lot of squares, so exactly. I mean, like, I didn't five. like c5. But uh, then actually after bishop b8, yeah. she took on a6, which was also surprising yes. for me because it would have, I would have never crossed my mind yes. to do all this, <laughs> but okay. No, actually, when I was watching it, I was like, wait, did she took uh, here? Because this bishop nice is really bishop. good. Yeah, yeah. But I guess uh, she was scared, I don't know, maybe of knight d5 or something? Well, in general, I think you shouldn't push c5 yeah. right, on the first place. And now already, like, if you go for the a step, you should go for the b step, maybe. Maybe this is the reason. I don't uh -huh. know. Like, the principal attitude. But okay. okay, I thought like that after bishop takes a6, I, yeah, you can, yeah, uh, yeah, sure. bishop, I can also do like this. Bishop okay. <laughs> b6, b6. And here after rook d1, I felt I must be better, but I was looking and looking yeah. and I didn't find anything. I thought queen d5 was fine, but it was actually quite... Um, clumsy because I'm running into the temple with knight c3. Mm. I was also thinking on this mm -hmm. move. Uh -huh. They did bishop f5. It's the same idea, just with a difference here that now, of course, the diff the main difference is like that I haven't played queen d5 yet and I don't run into this temple move knight c3. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. But I'm not sure I can play mm-hmm. queen c7 here because if uh, bishop f4, then rook takes e2. Yeah. And yes, this would have been the more clever setup. I mean, I was okay. thinking for a long time, for 20 minutes okay. between g6 and uh, queen d5. d5. And then I was so happy with queen d5 because, okay, I was calculating. For example, like there are some funny things. You cannot play knight c3 because of queen takes d4. Oh. It was a small <laughs> trap. <laughs> At least I thought it would work. <laughs> so That's nice, yeah. And I thought even after knight f4, there's bishop f5 is very strong. Oh. That's one idea. Then you cannot take here because after bishop takes c2, you still have the mating problem. Yes. And here I thought I have the initiative. Also interesting is queen e4, which should get me into a better endgame. Yes, for sure. Probably. But uh, yes, and that's why I, I was happy with queen uh-huh, d5. Okay. But the problem is like after bishop e3, now I realized actually like that I don't have anything against knight c3 and d5. And then yeah. I understood like what to do here, you know. Yeah, yeah. Then you realized oh, I should have played g6. Yes, and then okay, I decided like bishop e6, which okay. was a move which I didn't like, but I didn't know what else to do. No, and sure. here, okay, she went for this. I mean, like interesting was knight c3, okay. queen d3 and d5. But then I thought at least like after take, take and bishop e5, I should be fine, I guess. Yeah, I mean, these bishops can get really strong, yes. So this so, is risky for her as yeah. well to play, even so she has a very strong pawn, but... Let's say I was okay with that, but when she played Queen Knight of Four, I thought like okay. Mm-hmm. First, I thought like it was actually a bad move because mm-hmm. I mean, positionally speaking. But then I understood that after G5, Bishop D6, I don't have any moves. I mean, okay, I can play King G7. Mm-hmm. I think what she did was mm-hmm. fine. Rook E1. Uh, I play Bishop F5 first. Uh, okay, it doesn't matter. Yeah, Bishop it's probably five. Same. Rook E1, um, King G7, yeah. Yes, and then actually, like, the funny part is I don't have any moves, so I played like this, mm-hmm. this, and then I went back, and basically it was a draw offer, mm-hmm. and she took it, even so, I think she can, objectively, she can play it a bit, because I can't do nothing. Yeah, what's your idea? That's true. But okay, my idea, I don't know, but if she sorry. changes the queens, okay. maybe she has some chances to... Okay, if she changes the queens, maybe not. But okay, she's better on this side. Maybe yeah. objectively it's still a draw, but I would have tried on her With, place. If you were right, you would Yeah, try. I would try a little bit. Because uh, mm-hmm. I can't do nothing and she can at least maneuver a bit. Not much, but For sure. some chances. Yeah. yeah, like... Yeah, I mean, you can go rook 6 and rook 8 but again, but that doesn't do anything. Six, I, the problem mm-hmm. is like whenever I go rook 6 she mm-hmm. takes. And now how to take back? I was thinking if, pawn, but but if you take with a pawn, then okay, at least uh, sh- you don't have uh, maybe. But uh, I thought like yeah, you like so what do you do right? Yeah. Yes, and uh, I don't know. I wasn't sure. Probably it's still like objectively trash, but, uh, but yeah. I mean, no, for sure that position at the end is equal. I mean, it's nice that you took a draw as well, and you're yeah, white it, tomorrow anyway, so it's. Okay, I mean, the colors, I mean, probably you know yourself. <laughs> yes, I know. Everybody's yeah. saying, oh, yes, white colors, that means so much, but I'm like, it's the same. <laughs> well, actually, like, I would say in the men's competition, it means something, but in the women's yeah. competition, you know, <laughs> sorry to say that, it means nothing. <laughs> yes, that's so true, yeah, that's so true. So, yeah, thank you uh, so much for joining us. Do you want to check maybe uh, also Musitrix game? Because you said in case... Okay, in case I win the match and she wins the match, we would meet, but it's it's all right. I mean, like, okay. I don't want to even think that yeah, far. Okay, okay. I just had to answer something about unpleasant <laughs> opponents. And I was like, okay, if you play your best friend, maybe this is like something which considered to be not the best yes. thing to do, but yes. okay, would be. No, thank you so much for, for joining. That was really nice that we heard your explanations as well. So good luck for sure. Thank you. For tomorrow and see you. Hopefully. See you. Bye bye. Um, okay, so you guys heard the analysis of, uh, that was very nice, yeah, that was very nice insights from um, Elizabeth Pitts from Germany, that was very, very good analysis by her, that's why it's so nice to have chess players here as well, because yes, you look at the game yourself, but they're the ones calculating for hours and hours, and obviously they see so much deeper stuff and I'm so glad she came here to explain everything. Um. <laughs> thank you, thank you guys, thank you very much. Um, 
Which one is Laura? Like, I'm Laura, I'm here, I'm so sorry. Oh, thank you so much for the raid, GM Tranquilizer, as well. I saw you were com commentating the World Cup as well by Ellie, like you guys, yeah, just Ellie, okay. Yeah, well, you guys just missed Elizabeth Pets. Oh, thank you, Nicola, for, for the thousand beats um, as well. That's so, so nice. Um, so she will, I will tell her you were here. I'm sure she, she knows as well. <laughs> But thank you, thank you for the raid. Hope you had a good one and Sansa Stark. <laughs> and yeah, that was pretty nice. That was so exciting. Oh my god. Like, I don't even know. I can just end the stream at this point. I mean, like, I think we reached our high point. <laughs> uh no but okay let's uh that was yeah very very nice and you know what i wanted to check i wanted to check goryachkina's game and also um also some of the other girls games that's okay um what did you calculate when you talked for 40 minutes oh I, I will tell you everything when i will be analyzing my own games but like in this case um, when Pets was like said, chat, like she said, she was thinking about G6 or uh, Queen D5 for like 20 or even more minutes. Um, it's very nice to see what uh, what she was thinking and calculating about. So yeah, now let's check. Um, now let, I will turn on the computer back and um, okay. We will check this one quickly and then we will also check Yip's game. Yes, the Gnadze Yip. Um, um, you, I think both I said um, the game looks very interesting, so I will also follow that as well. Um, okay, let's see what, so we, which position did we leave it on? Uh, I don't know, we will double check that. Also, wait, is the camera okay? Like you can still see the chair. Wait, let me move the chair. Let the chair not be in the shot. Okay. 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 Um, so we saw it here. We saw it. We saw everything. We saw everything until Bishop D4. So this is the position we left it on. This was move 17. Now are they going to be at move 26? So let's check what we missed. Uh, camera looks fine. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> Bishop H6. Bishop G7. Takes. Takes. Queen City, okay, so that's, so we were looking at this and the computer here recommends Rook D1, but of course to me Queen C6 is just, the mo sorry, Queen C3 is the most natural move to play. Because, you know, you're asking Black a very serious question, um, which is you have to move the F6 pawn. Because of course you cannot go back due to a Knight F6 and that is just winning because look what would have happened in case like you decide to go for this. Basically, like you can just take it, you can also play some other stuff. So like King J8 is a mistake and uh, you have to go F6. And whenever you go F6, yes, like like again, computer says this is equal, but you're weakening your king. These pawns are not on ideal squares and one day maybe this knight will come in this nice, nice, um, spot like that. So queen before, queen b6, of course protecting this one, um, knight d6, bishop b7, rook d1, and queen c7, but badelka. So white has been playing all perfectly so far, all perfect moves. Hello, hello Gubarino, hello, hello. Um, so, so far white has been playing all perfect moves, like very logical, knight six, rook d1, queen is here attacking this one, and now queen c7. Um, so the thing is that I guess white's threat is to take knight c4. For example, I just see, just for example, after king h8, just knight c4 is a terribly big threat, and now this is also winning for white. That's why uh, Baderka played um, queen c7. The other move, of course, is knight a6, and then you have some tricky lines with with this um, variation and this is apparently kind of equal but um, of course bishop against the knight you know you never know what can happen so rook d1 uh, queen c7 and rook a1 played by 
by Goyachkina. So it's interesting that computer, the stockfish, he recommends an alpha zero move, which is H4, which actually, from human perspective, makes a lot of sense as well, because kings, like, pawns in front of the king are already moved. They're, like, the king is a bit exposed. And of course, with H4, you want to expose it even more. But at the same time, you know, this is like a move that doesn't really often cross your mind, especially if not a lot of pieces are left on the board. Because in this position, you have to keep in mind, you are a pawn down, um, you are a pawn down and my <laughs> tractor, you're a pawn down and your tractor. So you're a pawn down and basically you usually don't have time to play moves like H4, um, just because like pieces were exchanged, you have to keep in mind if you're going to an end game, you're losing. So that's why probably we are going to play rook a1. Um, of course, putting the rook on the open file, rook d8 played, knight b7, rook back, and rook a8. So probably here, if Goyachkina went knight d6, they would like Badaka would try to repeat the moves, but of course, that's not what's gonna happen. Goyachkina is playing for the win with the move rook a8. Bishop c6 now played by, uh, by Badelka, and white is winning, but how? How is white winning, guys? How is white winning in this position? Let's calculate. Bishop, d6, Bishop c6, the only move is takes queen c6, because obviously knight cannot take due to queen f8 checkmate, and so queen c6, uh, Bishop c6, queen c6, what looks interesting to me, Mm, I don't know if this works, but rook b8, rook b8, queen e7, I don't think this works, but it just looks interesting to me. And after king j8, for example, knight d6, then queen, queen f7 is a threat. So, yes, let's think, like, takes, takes, queen e7, I'm worried about rook f7, that's why I take two on b8 first. What do you do after rook f7? So I yeah, have bishop c6, queen c6. Queen is, like the thing is queen e7, you, you you go here again. No? I think you just go here. Because if you go king g8, knight d6 is probably winning. I think the only problem takes takes is queen, uh, is this, right? Oh no, it's not, because queen of seven takes takes knight d8, of course. Yeah, yeah, that must be the move. So takes takes, yeah, yeah, of course. Queen e7, after this you just take, take, and go here, and after he moves, takes takes, and you, you yeah, yeah, you should be winning this, for sure. Okay, so takes, takes, queen seven, king g8, yeah, fours. Then you go knight d6. No, I think that's just so better. So much better, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, if you look at sun, king seven, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I think just go knight d6, and that looks terrible. Takes, takes, queen seven, king g8. Oh, knight c5 is apparently the move. Just give me a second. So apparently, no, king g8, yeah. Knight c5. I would go knight d6, but. I guess after knight d6, just queen e7, right? Let, let's just check. I think it's just queen. Oh no, I'm just blundering stuff. I'm just losing rooks here. I'm just losing rooks here. I'm just blundering already. I'm just blundering everything now. Okay, okay. So, but, oh, but after this, if you take, takes, forcing rook f7, but then that's winning. That's, wow. Oh my God. So. Knight c5 is winning here, but that's, yeah. Rook a7 as well. Uh, rook a7, I, apparently rook a8 is a draw, but yeah, this looks very bad. Um, yeah, the rook, the rook, we're losing rooks like we're losing pawns. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so yeah, knight c5 is winning though. Knight c5, I mean winning, it's much better. But again, like, computer says here it's plus two, but again, I don't think it's plus two. I don't think it's so clear. Yeah, now it is correcting itself. Now it's plus zero seven. But it's very unpleasant to play for Badelka in this position, I think. Oh, what's the difference between knight d8 and knight c5? Let's check. So this, this, queen f7, this, and knight d8. So I don't think there's much difference. Oh, the only difference is you're letting queen d7 here, I guess. Um, but after here, it's queen eight. I don't think there's difference at all. So I don't think, yeah, there's no difference. In any case, I think the position is gonna be the same. It's gonna be the same. 
But this, I don't think, does, Bala, does Koyachka have any other choice? I'm not sure though. No, I, I think we're gonna come back, but this is very, very interesting because Baldoka has seven minutes, Koyachkin has 17, and they're move 26, and they need to reach move 40 just to get the, uh, just to get the time control. So yeah, we're gonna come back for sure, but now we're going to Zegnidze Yip because apparently Yip, very young talent from USA, is destroying Zegnidze, Grandmaster from Georgia. Um, of course, Grandmaster in the open section. So let's just check. So this was the Kings. Oh, it was kind of the Kings Indian, but Carissa has some interesting lines. And this is all very normal. This is just very normal position to have. I like it for white as I play a very similar position. And let's see what happens. So 95 apparently mistake, but you know, it's hard to know at five. Okay, so basically white was so much better. Oh, and rook f7 was a big mistake. But of course, like it's a tough position to play. So basically, Zagnida decided to sacrifice an exchange just to open up the king a bit. Um, but apparently this was not enough. Here, here should have, she should have went queen f4. But that's what, like, again, this is very hard to play. Bishop g2 seems very natural move. You don't want to give up this bishop. You really don't want to give up this bishop because if you do for the knight, this bishop is going to be a beast and you might lose a game very soon just without this bishop. So bishop g2 is very, like, natural move to me. Um, but also she has, she, she had six minutes on move 27, so not much time, I guess. Oh, and now it's this, like queen f2 is extremely losing. Okay, takes, takes, queen f6, moves, this, moves, duck, and queen f4. Never play f3. <laughs> no, 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 f3 is fine. That bishop f5 almost wants to make me play the king's in the end. Yeah, almost. Bishop f5 is a very tricky line, but again, white was having a good position. And let's let just, you know, let's just quickly check what would have happened. So. Rook g7, this, this, this takes, this, and after queen f4, I just really am curious, if he takes this queen e4, and that's very nice, for example, if he just takes this one, queen g6, uh, a pin, in, there is a very nice pin, and like after this, you just take the bishop. Oh my god, that would be nice, that would be nice. So that's what would happen after queen f4, but like the best move here is bishop d5. I guess you take back somehow. I don't know exactly how, but for example, now black can also not take because just bishop e5 is winning for white. Um, c6 is the best move apparently, but then you go bishop g2 now. No, you don't go bishop g2, okay. So you take this one again. And after this, I guess rook e5. Rook e5. And this is very much equal. Like, white's king is very exposed. I would not want to play this with white, but like, you know, what to do. For example, if queen moves, oh no, wait, like queen has to go to here. Oh my God, queen d7. Oh, queen d7, that would have been a pretty way to win this match. That would be a pretty um, nice win. This is the official Licha stream. Hello, welcome. My name is Laura Onuk. I'm gonna be your streamer for the next few days. I'm streaming from Sochi, from the official press room in the World Cup. And <sighs> yeah. hope you enjoy. Um, <laughs> that was very weird. I'm sorry. I don't know why I did that. Um, okay, anyway, so that would have been very nice way to win. Hello Dilmant, I'm great, I'm great. Yes, uh, Georgia, uh, the media is from Georgia, uh, which is actually bordering um, Sochi, I mean, the Russia, but like it's very close to Sochi. <laughs> I'm so sweet, thank you. Lee, chest, 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 chest. Yeah, anyway, so that would have happened if here Zagnizia played the best move queen f4, but again, like you want to keep this bishop, like I said, you really don't want to give it up, but that was the wrong move to play and now it's just lost because white skin is also extremely exposed 
it just terribly exposed like night h3 oh night of three oh my god that's oh my god that's terrible like oh my god i mean it's not over yet so knight f3 knight f3 knight f3 king f2 and rook f8 Okay, so queen of one on the board. We're going to watch this. I think we're going to see resignation very soon. So my rating is 2,407, and I played in the World Cup as well. I was knocked out by a stronger player from Azerbaijan, Gunai Amemamazada, and um, now I'm commentating. Yes, everyone else knocked out from the tournament goes home, but Laura goes to the final. <laughs> True. So knight of three happened, knight of three, knight of three, that's on the board, and... I think this is gonna be resignation very soon. We're gonna wait for it. We're gonna wait for it for sure. Um, also YouTube chat, hello <laughs> YouTube chat. You, you just watched your interview with Fide. Oh wait, it's already up? Oh no. I didn't know it was already up, damn it. God damn it. Hopefully it's a good interview. Uh, <laughs> Okay, uh, let's just... Sebagot Crash, we're going to watch that as well. Um, but we're just waiting for Zagnizia to either play King of 2 or resign here. There are not much options here, to be honest. And maybe Curry Sayyid will be interviewed today as well. Uh, apparently, I heard she's a very kind, very legendary person. Apparently, everybody likes her. <laughs> In the USA, of course. And, of course, Zagnizia doesn't resign. She goes king f2 and rook f8 on the board. Um, that looks terrible. But I don't think Zagnida is going to give up very, very soon. Let me just get my water. My water and my coffee, which I already drank. I'm gonna get some more, maybe. Like King E2 runs into what? Just just a rookie eight. Like like just rookie eight. That's insane. So King E2 played by Zagnizia. Let's yeah, we're gonna watch this till the end. Zagnizia has 32 seconds. That means that she played King E2 with two seconds on her clock because there are 30 seconds increment for every move you play. So she had two seconds when she played this move. Lurk. Lurk lurk, yeah. Um so, also we have to watch Kostinuk crumbling. Apparently, Kostinuk managed to get advantage from the tricky position we saw before. Um, and let's see what happened here. Knight d4 played by... Okay, so Carissa Yip, she went for the materialistic approach. Basically, she will win the queen next move. Um, so yeah, like in, in, she went for a materialistic approach, you know, that, that's fine. That's, if, that, if it's winning, it's winning, what can you do? So yeah, like this was maybe a bit stronger, but like we saw the resignation, it's game over after rook d4, for example, bishop takes, rook f1. Oh, sorry, no, no rook f2, that would be a mouse slip. Uh, but thank God they're play, playing over the board. And just this, and basically there are two pieces for a queen, which is absolutely winning. So Zagnitza resigned, and congratulations to Yip Carissa. Yeah, it was a big upset. But that girl, I have to say, is on fire. Yesterday she played the tie breaks, she won. And strong win from Carissa. Wow, very impressive. She's very young. I think she's 16 year old or something as well. I could be wrong. Somebody can double check, but I know she's very, very, very young. Okay, uh, let's just quickly check the game Crumbling and then we're gonna check the Seba game as well. But I want to see Kostinu Crumbling, two legends battling, in, uh, battling it out. And let's see where we, were, where we left it at. So we left it at here. We left it at here, 94, bishop e2, and here. So this is where we left it at. So Kostinu was thinking here for quite some time, I feel like. Oh, she's 17, close to 18. Wait, what? She's 12? Wait, 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 wait. Really? 
I, I will, you know what, I'm gonna Google that. I don't trust chat anymore. I thought I can trust chat, but no. I cannot trust the chat if I... She's 17, okay, 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 she's 17. Never trust chat is what they say, no. She's 17, yeah. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, that was an upset scroll. Okay. You can trust me? Okay, good. Yes, so we have Pia Kramling on the other hand. She's a veteran. That's a very nice way to put it. She's been in the chess world for 40 years, I think, and a, a big legend. She was number one in the world for between 85? I don't know, 84, 85? I could be wrong, but a big legend, you know, just a huge legend and everybody knows her. And everybody knows her daughter as well, if you're watching Twitch, of course. Anna Crumling, her daughter, uh, also a good chess player, an amazing streamer. So C5 played by Kostenyuk here. Here we were looking at um, this end game that could have a court, a court, a court. Rook D2, Queen H4. Um, in here, I think we were looking at this, yeah, or something similar. I don't really know, but we were looking at something like this. But C5 played by Kostenyuk, Queen C2. And like she went, of course, that's a very good move because you want to exchange queens in this position. Your opponent is attacking you from here, from here, from here. And exchanging the queen seems to be a very good solution to solve your problem. So um, she took, took, bishop f5, e4, bishop e6. Oh, I was really, yeah, I was thinking about f4. f4 looks very nice, but she goes knight f3. She wants to exchange even more pieces because more pieces you exchange, you know, uh, if you're feeling worse, that's gonna, you're gonna be feeling a bit better as you get more space, um, at least in that case. So knight c6, a3, bishop a5, 91, okay, she's going backwards, and 94 takes, takes with a pawn, that's great. So now black has a back, a, a passed pawn, and two bishops, so bishop pair, which is very dangerous. And the other problem is that white has to go for bishop d3, which is not great. So in theory, the best, blockade piece, so in this case the piece that would go to d3 to blockade the pass pawn, is a knight. Knight is the best piece that blockades everything. Bishops, however, not so great. So ideally, white should have the knight on d3, but she can't. So that only shows the disadvantages. And let's see what happened then. How did black take advantage of that? Rook c8 takes take. This knight is terrible. This knight, I, I, I don't know when I, when, have I ever seen the worst knight than that? I don't know. That's a terrible knight to have. Knight e2, king f2. Oh my god, like, look at the knight. Poor horsey there. Poor horsey. Ay, ay, ay. Shadow chess queen, yeah. She might be tired after all yesterday tie breaks for sure. For sure. F4, finally she pushes, and rook f2, oh my god, oh no, she goes through rook f2, and then after f4, rook f3, that shows that she's not feeling great in the position, and bishop d5, very nice trick, um, winning the pawn on e4, king f2 played, and of course, Kostinuk has 10 minutes though, against Kramling, 7 minutes, but I think that she's gonna take this one for sure, and then like, the thing is, Rook d3 may be coming, so first you go g3 to protect f4, and after, for example, let's say f5, rook d3, and king f7, yeah, the, the, again, the knight, what do you do with this knight? You have to go to f2, let's say king f1, king here, knight f2, and you know what? You can just take this one, that's how good your position is. You can just sacrifice then exchange because these pawns and the bishop are crushing. And actually we have this on the board. Well, no, we don't have this on the board. We have King F2 on the board, sorry. We don't have this on the board. Um, but this would be crushing. Why Rook F2? Um, Rook F2? Where do you mean why Rook F2? Like in the game or... 
Oh yeah, like why did she play rook f2? Okay, let's check that. So in this position she played rook f2, I don't know why. Um, so I really don't know why. Of course I think you go f4, that's your idea. I don't know why you go rook f2. Oh, I think, okay, now I, I get it. Maybe she was scared of this. I don't know why would you be scared of this? No, I. she would not be scared of this, right? I don't know. Not sure. Why would she be scared of this? Maybe, okay, so maybe, okay, after, okay, maybe this is the explanation. Rook f2, if for example, black goes, let's say, f6, just an example, now you threaten to take a6, because after rook c2, you just move the king and like nothing is hanging. But in, in the case, for example, if you take bishop a6 here, then rook c2 is absolutely crushing because this one is hanging, bishop d2, like this one, you're already threatening mate in one here. So maybe that's why she played rook f2, just to um, threaten taking on a6. I guess that was her reason to play rook f2. I think that makes sense uh, in a way, but of course, you could never blunder that. But I think that was the reason why she went rook f2, because yeah, in that case, then this is a threat. Okay. Maybe those endgame examples were the knights trap, knight is trapped by pawns. Yeah, this is a pretty good example. Okay, we have this on the board. Actually, we have this on the board. So we were looking at, so king f2, bishop e4, takes, 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 g3, f5 on the board. And now it's what to move, white's choice, what to do. What I, I played here, rook d3 and king f1 and knight f2, but again, this is crushing. Yeah, like we saw, this bishop is huge and this knight is terrible. So, wow, very, very, very nice. Yes, yeah, some games went out very quickly. Well, I wouldn't say it's very quickly, but it can happen. We're not stockfishes, guys. We're not. Kalyamova as well. Okay, let's just check how um, others are doing. So, yes, so we saw this result, Yip won. Uh, Tan Jongui beat Sebak. Let's see what happened here. Um, just very briefly, let's check the game. So that's normal opening. Um, that's okay. That's all pretty much normal. And Bishop H4, okay. A5, knight g3 takes g5. And it's a very interesting thing because black is actually doing fine here. So, what happened? Oh, knight h, this was a mistake. So, knight h, knight h4 was a mistake. Why is it a mistake? Because this move makes no sense, otherwise. The mistake. It, it does make a lot of sense to go knight f8 just because this knight here is terrible, so you, you should activate it. Like in this position, it's a typical position where you just stop and ask yourself, which piece is my worst piece and how do I make it better? And in this case, this knight on h7 is the worst piece and that's why you go knight f8. But let's, go, let's see why knight a4 is a big mistake. Rook d4, knight c3. Queen d3 played, b5, stopping rook c4, which was a threat, and bishop d6. And that is just crushing. Knight e2, king b2, knight f4, queen d2. Just very smooth, just very smooth. Takes, takes, and knight e6. And now again, like, look at this knight here. If it was activated, then all would be good, but it, it didn't activate, and just... In a few moves, the game was over. Knights on the rim, yes. Knights on the rim are grim. I think that's how they say it. Um, the any of the games you've seen remind you of position you, you've seen from any of your games? No. I don't think, like, I. so far, no. So far, no. Um, oh, yeah, Galiamova lost against Kashinskaya. Okay, let's quickly check that game, too. So it was the slog, again. We, we've seen, like, this this is all prep as well okay long castles that's nice that means that white is very ambitious here but of course like when your opponent goes 
H6G5 and the H file is open like this, then it just like, oof, of course you go for the attack. So why even sacrifice the pawn? Oh, I want to say sacrifice the pawn, but actually it's not pawn sacrifice because you're losing H6 as well. So you exchange this one for this one, but you're having an H file. Just, that's crushing. Like, I would love to have this position. I don't know why I never have these kind of positions. I would love to have these kind of positions in my life, you know. But no, they just never happen. Okay, King A1, very beautiful maneuver. I mean, computer says that you should take it, but King A1 is a very beautiful move just because if you take it, you open yourself to some perpetual checks just in case. King A1, you will never get perpetual checks. You just hide yourself behind your opponent's pawn and just chill there. So that's why I really like this move though. Um, but yeah, it's like, just beautiful. Just everything's open and everything's crushing and she resigned because the rook is hingado in the next move. GG, well played, well played. Berkic cross Salah, oof, oof. Let's see this one. Okay, let me see if there's some other results. Um, yeah, Osobayeva and um, Kutanashvili drew, which was very interesting because the game looked very exciting, but they drew, so the game ended to be solely which just quick. Okay, let's check here yeah, some of the guys' games. Okay, just before we go there, let's check Goyach. You know, we were actually calculating these stakes. Takes queen e7, king g8, knight c5 played, and queen e8 on the board. Keep in mind, Goyach has four minutes, Badoka has two minutes, and they need 11 more moves to reach the time control. So this is now a blitz game. This is officially now a blitz game, which is very exciting. If you miss that knight f is isn't a good move, then knight f8 doesn't become an option. Yeah, 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 south packs, I agree, I agree. It's, it's hard, you're not like, it's so easy when you look at the position and the computer tells you, yeah, that's a terrible move. And you're like, okay, that actually makes sense. Of course, it's a bad move. But when you're playing, you're calculating yourself, it's just, completely different and of course no one tells you yes there's 30 second increment but it's a blitz game anyway because nobody's going to play like move by move by move but they will always think like at least 20 seconds for one move uh, so it's going to be very exciting but i think this is pretty equal now i mean queen e6 this is gonna be on the board for sure and rook c8 and then we're gonna see like knight here, before, and then this can be scary. But this is gonna be very interesting for sure. Back, Magnus down two minutes. Okay, we're, we're switching to, to men section now. We're gonna keep an eye on the women section as well. But this is now very exciting for sure. Very, very exciting. Games. Um, very exciting games. So this is now... Um, Oh, this is on Vitugo Shear. Okay, let's check with Magnus first before we go anywhere else. <laughs> Primo Wings is doing much harder over the board. It is. You guys have no clue. <laughs> okay, let's just see where we left it off. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. That's the wrong game. I'm sorry, I have a lot of tabs open here. So let's just see where we left it off. Da -da -da -da. We saw that, we saw that. We saw. Okay, before, bishop b2, 2, 2, 2, 2, okay, da da da, we saw that, okay. We saw it here, then e2, goes queen e4, e3. Oh, wow, Aryan very ambitious, h5, h4. Very nice. And now he takes to the pawn, and he has pretty nice pawns here. Actually, this is very suspicious for Magnus, like h3. So the thing is, h3 can be a really good move or a terrible move, because you have a knight, right? White has a knight. So imagine this knight hopping to f4, just eating this one. So if basically black has nothing concrete, which actually might be true, white can just 
eat this pawn at some point. That's why king f1 happened, bishop d4. And I don't know, I'm not so sure. I actually like white's position. Tari is playing very well, but I actually like white's position. Um, just give me... yeah. I have... Yeah, okay. Queen d4, yeah. Bishop d4, sorry. I mean, I'm, for some reason I like the knight here just because, I don't know, like, he can really eat the pawns, but I don't know. I'm scared to turn on computer, he's gonna, like, say such something weird. Oh, no, it's zero, zero. Yeah, zero, zero, but of course, like, if you play correctly, 9 to 5 seems to be logical, this, and he would probably go back and repeat the moves. So, we'll see about what Magnus will decide. He has one minute on the clock. Yes, can you play something like knight d1, e3, e3, f4, knight f3? That to me seems perfect. Like, I would go knight d1 for sure if I was playing for the win. Yeah, but like c4 takes, like, okay, let's say take. Yeah, c4 might be a problem, but I don't know. But yeah, this, this seems to be a very good pla plan, yeah, yeah, for sure. e3, f4, knight, f2. The, thing, the only problem is that you're putting all your pawns on black square, but it doesn't really matter, because if you're winning the pawn, you're winning the pawn. But yeah, in this case, yes, c4 takes, takes, rook here. The problem is that now bishop is here. Let's say, for example, maybe this is not the best move, but for example, so now you cannot really go this, this, and knight f2, because then this pawn would be hanging or would be very weak. So now this plan goes to the c. And I think they're going to repeat. I think they're going to repeat and they're going to draw. I think they're going to draw. We'll see. Depends if Magnus plus knight and 5 I think they're going to draw. Yes, yeah, c1, it's exactly okay. Yeah, c4 is very nice move for sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> Pretty easy. c4, b6, a8, c7, e6, and a4, sure, yeah, very easy together. Um, yeah, I think they're gonna draw, but um, we'll see, we'll wait a bit. We'll wait a bit. Because nobody of them has time and six more minutes to reach time control. Except, except, let's see. Oh, then we also have to check Nihal's game. Nihal's game apparently is uh, having... Okay, they're drawing, they're drawing this one. There, this is going to be a draw for sure. Um, and yeah. Okay, hey, let's go to another game. It's not drawn yet, but I'm 100% sure. 99% sure, okay, let's go. We did one against Adhiban. We saw the position and I guess it was just GG. GG for Vidit, not even having problems winning this, this line. Very nice, GG. Hare Krishnas, yes, let's let's see Hare Krishnas and Nihal's game. Uh, let me just check. Um, Hare Krishna, here we go. Hare Krishna is playing, uh, playing Kipulescu. Uh, I will just quickly go through the opening. If C, if there, oh, C4, wow. Like, I want to say if there are any surprises, but C4 surprised me for sure. Um, not very common move, I guess. I think so. I don't see it very commonly, at least. Okay, this is... That's fine. Okay, a lot of exchanges. Plus pawn on A4. Yeah, like, interesting position to play. Like, white has a knight, but she has... Ooh! Rook c3, queen c3, this, 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 they exchange everything. Yeah. 
Actually, I might get invited to, to do an interview of his game as well. Uh, but then against Yang Yi, okay, we're gonna check this one as well. Uh, I will, I will turn, but the interview is not uh, starting yet, so <laughs> so I will just wait a bit, okay? Okay, starting soon. I will turn the camera in just a second. Just a second. <laughs> So I guess this afternoon is Santos B. Bit from India. How are you doing, Santos? Yeah, I couldn't have asked for a better description and I'm dealing with the other game. So you have an uh, Indian clash with uh, Pascal Akimba. Very tough matchup. It's probably the most difficult times. Tell us about the game uh, what it is. Uh, he played with the same. He really likes to play that line. And he had some other game preparation. Some other game. He was just mixing up moves while I was thinking for like half hour in the opening. Um, and then it was really complicated. I, I took guesses. Now, we were on a very striking chapter. Then we played this E4 move, which was really strange because it just gave up all in one move. And uh, I asked him after the game, it was just an oversight uh, from him. Um, after that, yeah, my technique, I'm not sure if I had played the best moves, but um, I just tried to keep the game uh, you know, really uh, simple. That worked out well because he tried a lot of things, but at the end, uh, I just took another one and then the portion was just not good. Well, it looked So, this is the first game, obviously, it's a match of two games. And uh, why you play black with him, and I'm sure he'll go for all out for the win. So, what do you think is the game tomorrow? I think one goes all out, doesn't matter what is the score. So, um, yeah, I do expect him to be uh, uh, fight tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, I just have to make a deep plan. But yeah, I'm sure that he's not okay with it. You know, simple that we'll try it. I'm expecting a fight. Okay, so I hope you have a good view and we'll see you tomorrow in the Clash with Barry. But just a second. I just <laughs> listen. I will tell you if he has nice shoes. Oh, yeah, 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 nice shoes. Um, just a sec. Just a sec. Hopefully, he will come here. 
viewed since. because I switched to a different camera. I switched to a different camera and this camera, uh, sorry, the, I switched to a different microphone. This microphone is worse. So, so it's not so great. But, you know, for the purpose of interview, I will just leave it like that. It's not great audio, but it's better than nothing, okay? Hopefully it's okay. Uh, let me just pull up their game. Uh, just a bit loud, okay. Yeah, background is very loud, that's the problem, yeah, yeah. But you're listening to Vidit, so don't worry. It's better than nothing, okay. Oh, I don't know what happened. We have Krishchuk, we have Krishchuk here. We have Krishchuk here. Oh my god, oh my god, Krishchuk is here. We have Krishchuk here. Okay, let me change the back to the old mic and you will tell me if it's if it, it, okay, okay? How does it sound? How does it sound? Please say it's okay. It's okay? It's okay? You're sure it's okay? Okay, good, 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 good. So, yeah, Grish checks here. I think Carlson will not be coming for the interview today. I also, did they already draw? Did they already draw? But what? With Marcus one? What? What happened? What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Because after this it's checkmate? Oh my god. And after this it's nice to see it. What? Magnus won, guys. Magnus won. Small claps. Okay, yeah, it's fine. Oh my God, Magnus won. He blundered with a four. Yeah. Oh my God. So we saw it here. Takes here. Knight b five a four. What? What should he have played though? Rook e eight. I don't I don't know what happened with Shiro, but we will check. We will check for sure. But oh my God, GG, GG. Wow, I didn't expect that. And Shiro, let's check Shiro as well. Um, Shiro, Shiro. Oh, that's winning for Sh for Pitugo, of course. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. I'm getting a first Harika. <laughs> I'm impressed with mine. 
the background is not, it's, it's, wait, I will show you, just a second, just give me a second. <laughs> you want to come here, please? You change profession. Yeah? <laughs> yes, I changed the profession. But you, but you stream as you stream as well on YouTube. Yeah, 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 yeah. of course. It's also. I hope you have subscribed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think from your laugh, I, you haven't. <laughs> no, I, I will. I will. I swear, I will. Um, wait, we were just checking. Did you know that Magnus won? Oh, that's such a surprise! Oh my God, Magnus won. <laughs> no, but like. It was, okay, we were going to check your game, of course, but like, you know what happened? Like, I thought it was going to be a draw because they were already repeating knight f4 and then knight e3 um. back. And then, of course, Magnus, he had one minute and he took on c5 with one minute. And knight two, knight two. yeah, and a5, he takes and... No, this was a mistake, yeah? Bishop d4. Yeah, bishop d4 was, okay. I mean, he also had, I think, one minute. So. Yeah, it's very tough position. To and play. then, like this, knight e7 is just crushing. Oh, knight c6. Nine. Yeah. yeah. It was very nice. So yeah, um, everybody was shocked. Um, but of course, nobody was shocked that you won your game because we were watching from the beginning. Wait, we are live, by the way? Yes. Oh, we are, we are live. Okay. <laughs> we are live. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm just very casual on stream. Uh, I'm not very professional. I have no clue. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, everybody's probably like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They wanted to say, uh, tell you that you have very nice shoes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, my sister gifted me those shoes. So. Um, People okay. observe these things, yeah? Yeah, <laughs> that's the first thing they see. Like, they don't care oh, wow. about your chess. <laughs> um, okay, but yeah, you played such a good game. Uh, we were watching the from the opening. Like, this just some theory. I played that myself, so I was like, oh, okay, that's really awesome. But with white you play this, or black? With black, white, black. white, yeah, white. yeah, with white. Um, and basically, what, to when were you prepared? Well, he was prepared. He blitzed out everything until night D4. Oh, to 94. Oh. Yeah. So I think it was oh. his preparation till here. After 91, he started to think. Okay, only here. Okay. Yeah. So, yes, yeah, c5, takes, takes. But yeah, you, you handled yeah, it so well. I think he's kind of okay here. Um, I guess, I, yeah. I mean, here, takes, takes. takes, takes. Yeah, that was very interesting. Back, bishop g2. Bishop and now I think he should play bishop b7, I thought. Yeah. Just like oh. force me to play e4. Yeah. And then he has this d4 square, yeah? Oh, yeah, the with knight. the knight, 94, yeah. yeah. And I can't do much, I think it's just roughly equal. It's very equal, yeah, I guess. And yeah, but he didn't go for it. Wait, look, I just, I'm already lost. I'm, pro I'm so professional. Um, no, yeah, Bishop right. d2. And yeah, he yeah, played he h5. h5. And now it allowed me to play knight d5. So ah. it's not so simple for him. Okay, knight because d5. Because he doesn't yeah. get e4. Um, that's the point. Oh, okay. So after bishop e7, then you play bishop c3? Yeah, because but, his yeah. idea is now to play e4. Okay. So okay. if I take on f6. Okay, sorry. Sorry. Okay, so yeah, so yeah, yeah. So the point is he wants to play e4 here. Okay. If knight f6, okay. and then he takes. Okay. I, I mean, queen. no, no, I mean. Oh, sorry, sorry. You can also... Like, you For example, yeah. if I just play like a stupid move, h3, okay, okay, okay. he wants to play e4, oh, okay, okay. takes, and this e4 pawn is protected, right? Yes, yes, yes. And he's doing good. Yes, yes. So yes. that's why I played bishop c3 in okay. the game. Yeah. Uh, instead, yeah. So the idea was to stop e4, because now I can take with the bishop ah, yeah, and take yeah. the pawn. Yeah, yeah. And he just played e4, which was, I mean, oh. a great surprise for me. Yes. And after this, it just pawned down. Like, okay, so basically you just blundered the pawn. Yeah, exactly. But did he blunder it yeah. or did he calculated something? No, he, he pretended that it was <laughs> planned, but of course we know, yeah? And I asked him after the game, it was a blunder, he just like oversight, yeah. Oh, well. And after that, like, you, it was so smooth, but he tried, he tried. Yeah, 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 of course, I, I know that it's not going to be easy, uh, but I think it was always in control, right? Yeah, yeah you were, game. like, you played perfect, like, perfect game, I think. Ah, uh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like it was so smooth, like I wish I played like that when I was winning. <laughs> because when I'm with a pawn up, I'm panicking like, oh my god, I'm gonna blunder something. Were you no, playing this tournament? I was, yeah, yeah, but I got knocked out um, last round. Oh, tie breaks? No, <laughs> I played uh, 
Gunai Mamadzaga. But yeah, now I'm commenting <laughs> for leeches. Oh, By the way, you're on Leech's stream, just so you oh, know. Oh, nice. Hi, guys. <laughs> yes. Okay, I'll, I'll follow your... Uh, I have, yeah, I will subscribe. Everybody subscribe to the channel. I mean, you have so many followers and everybody loves you anyway, so I think that probably everybody's already subscribed to you, except me. You. What's your channel name? The channel, just twitch.tv slash leeches.org. Ah, okay, just, on Leech's, like it's... Yeah, like literally leeches? on Leech's, ah, yeah. I yeah, thought yeah. it's your, like, private uh, uh, stream. No, no, no. It's literally for leeches. Ah, okay. um, otherwise, yeah, if I, I will just open the chat if you want. If anybody has some questions, it goes leeches. <laughs> yeah, shout out to the chess. Um, oh, nice. Uh, very active chat, yeah? Yeah, pretty but nice. <laughs> it's ASMR interview. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. what, what, what's happening in Anisha's game, yes, by the way? Just curious. Yeah, no, yeah, let's, for sure. Let's check this one. Uh, okay. Oh, wow. I thought it was clearly better in the middle game, like okay. end game, sorry. No, we can check here yeah, for sure. Just that uh, you were watching his game. Somewhere <laughs> here I thought he was... Ah, it's not so much. Just oh yeah, we also saw this, yeah, but... I mean, it looks like Black is doing fine, for sure. Yeah, I mean, it looks like if you can get the knight on c3. Yeah, yeah. What's something happened? went wrong, yeah? Ah, he got a3. Uh, ah, and he has two bishops. Two bishops. So what's the final solution? It looks like only Anish can lose, yeah? This. I mean, no way why yes. is losing this. Yes. But uh, very hard to believe. Hard to believe. I think. I mean. I think my boy got, got this, yeah? He has it under control. Okay, so it will be a draw. I hope so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Any interesting results apart from. Um, so, yeah, Grishchuk won. I mean, the Jaro lost oh, yeah. after so much. How was that? Like, they just suddenly resigned, yeah? Like, what happened was, okay, this was like very normal. Or, like, normal for them. Um, basically that was like very interesting position also two bishops against two bishops, this d4 pawn, but then like he played very well, but then his mistake was to go uh, so this, this, and he went e5, and apparently this is just wow. the worst move ever, and since then like wow. it's over basically. This one was lost and then this one, uh, h5 is lost as well. Oh. And Nasty. Yeah, and after this, just bishop f3 and everything's fine. Oh, so, big upset, yeah? Very big, but they were yeah, finished in like one hour and a half. So. Yeah, exactly. I thought it was some like COVID result game, you know, and that's why the game finished. I thought oh, because it looked equal at some point. It, yeah, it, it did look very equal. I thought it was going to be a uh, throw as well, but yeah, it was just... And he resigned after Uximon. <laughs> so it was just there. Yeah. And then... Um, I think Wakido was also winning. <laughs> Yeah, he yes, won. He, yeah. won. Yeah. Uh, he, he defeated Linear in the first yeah. match. What happened? So. We didn't see that game, but we can just check the ending. It was yeah, a long just game. crushing, like. Yeah, just this. Complete meeting at end. Again, two bishops. So many two bishop pairs this, this round. Mm -hmm. And yeah, oh, and Drake in one. Oh, this oh, was. And Drake in one against did, did you see the opening? B3, yeah? B, no, but B3B6. Oh. There was B3B6. <laughs> well, I didn't know in World Cup also people <laughs> troll, yeah? Yeah, that was so <laughs> funny. And they have not lost their sense of humor. <laughs> no. It's insane. And Bihar is so young and he plays this stuff. And then, yeah, like here we were looking at yeah, D4. Oh, he has such a great position. Yeah, but apparently here, like bishop d3, but it's very tough. Bishop d3, queen h5, and apparently here, and knight d4, or no, no. Knight e5. Yeah, yeah. knight e5 here, yeah, and like, you basically, you're a pawn down, but this is too much better for, like, for white or something. I don't know, it was very weird, so we were just looking at that. But I don't know what happened after this. I just lost a pawn. Yeah, uh, but okay, it's still equal. Oh, but yeah. okay. And Bikin is a good player. Like he loves such positions. So. Um, okay, so basically, I think it was time trouble that was the problem mm. as well. That's what they were saying in the chat. Mm. But this is equal. What happened? What happened here? How did he just put all his pawns on the white? Yeah, okay. Oh. oh, and this is crushing because they have five. Then you lose a pawn yet. Ooh, the king comes king comes to A B two. Oh my god. And that's just insane. Nice. They're so strong. <laughs> good players. And yeah, so and Dubal won. Oh so many results. Dubal one didn't see that game at all. I don't know if you were checking. No, no, okay. I was just focused on converting to Oh and you Yang you lost. Yeah. Oh, Amit Tabatabai. Tabatabai. Yeah. I love his name. 
Yeah, yeah taba, taba. so nice to say it, right? Also, I think in Hindi, like, Tabai means, like, you know, destruction or something. Oh, really? So, Taba, That's Taba is like, yeah. <laughs> Good name to have. Um, I don't know what happened. Um, I guess we can just check at the end or something. Oh, oh. we can destroy him or something. Wow. I think there are just too many games to follow, yeah? Yeah, there are too many. Keep up. I cannot. I re- and also we're following women, uh, yeah. like Goyachkina and Kramling and Kostinyuk. Uh, there's Kostinyuk Kram- uh, Kostinyu match today, so it's also very interesting to watch. Where it's just so many games. But yes, yeah, like, the, I will not keep you here anymore. Yeah, Congratulations. I, I, I prepare. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, and that. good luck for tomorrow. Bye, chat. <laughs> and enjoy streaming. Thank you. <laughs> And I'll tell my sister about the shoes. She'll be very yes, happy. Yes, please. <laughs> okay, guys. That, that was so nice, guys. That was so nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what a wholesome guy. No, he's a really great guy. He's awesome. He's really kind. He's like... Everybody go follow him on YouTube. He has, you know what? I'm gonna open the, his YouTube channel. I'm gonna open his YouTube channel because you know I'm just gonna subscribe to him right now, live on stream, so it's clear. I think he's did it just, um, but I could be wrong. No, he's just he's okay. I just subscribed. I will pull pull his um, YouTube in the chat so you guys can follow him as well. So this is his YouTube. <laughs> Starstruck by uh, no, he's a great guy. He's just oh, thank you so much, Offerspiel, for raiding with a party of eighteen. Thank you so so much. Who was streaming? Who was streaming? Um, but that was such a great interview. He's really like nice. I'm just gonna fan girl about him now. You know, that's that's that. So yeah, how did Magnus win? He won um, very nice way. I mean, by tricking him. Har and Urkina. Okay, thank you so much for the raid. I know both of you, so thank you so much. Hope you had a good stream. But you just missed an interview with Vidit. You can watch it back though. But it was a very nice interview. He explained his game. We watched some other games as well, and so many results going on right now. Um, Grishchuk, for example, beat Pichot. Let's just quickly check what happened there. Um, they're having an interview in Russian, that's why um, it's very loud, I'm sorry. Uh, I can also turn around, but... Um, oh, so Grishchuk was just winning. Oh wait, guys, we saw, we saw this position. So we were having this position, e3, h5, c4, bishop f5. We, we saw this position, bishop f5, g, b, g, g5, sorry, g4 play. Um, and basically, white is just winning this. This is just crushing. Like, black has no moves. Like, his king is so open. And king is very safe here. Oh, king is very safe on f3. That's pretty safe king there. Um, and now he has so many pawns up. And, like, so easy. Even though they're opposite color bishops, it doesn't matter. This is just... So winning. So Grishchuk won pretty easily, which was very impressive. <laughs> Welcome, Asius and Alferspiel. Yes, Nihal lost. Magn- imagine Magnus walking in for an interview. I don't think, I don't know, we'll see, but I don't think he's gonna do it today. Uh, Nihal lost. Nihal lost. Um, just. Um, just a second, let, let's check that game again so you guys see um, what exactly happened in that game. So basically they had very equal end game. So let's just go to an end game. So this is basically a very drawish end game, but of course there are same color bishops. So when there are same color bishops, like a lot of things can happen and under time pressure they did because f5 was, um, because a3, bishop c2, bishop c2 was a big mistake. For example, f4 was the only move that drew, which is very interesting. Um, but bishop c2, for example, is lost because f5, bishop b1, and f4. And if you just take it, what happened in the future, just king goes in, 
and after you move, just king c3 probably or something, or something like first e5, king has to go back, and then just king c3, and you cannot like protect this pawn, and then this is a queen. So for that reason, of course, Nihal didn't take one f4. He went king e4, bishop c6. Now he's forced to take king e4, this, and bishop back, c5, check, moves, and. He just takes it, and in, like if, if white went here, king goes here, and let's say this just oh just bishop g4 of course. So here, for example, if this happens, king this moves. Let's say this, and just I think king c3 should be crushing, but everything is crushing here in this position. So basically, how wait it was a draw or they lost? Wait. I think, no, no, I think they lost. I think the draw is the wrong result. Um, it says they drew, but that's a losing position. I think, yeah, he lost. I think he lost. Maybe it's, yeah, it's an error. No, he lost, I think, yeah, yeah. Where did the kings end up? I don't know. Um, but I think this must be over. Wait, this, I, they played until here. And I don't think Andrakin would give a draw in this position, so um, I think he lost. Um, so there was somebody saying, oh my god, so many games going on. So Okarana drew, okay. Uh, Sinjaro, Kuri draw. Karyakin won. Let's check what, how did Karyakin win. Ruby uh, 3, this. So that's pretty nice, winning with a knight here, and just winning. Uh, which game did you want to see? Official page, it also says a draw. Really? Yeah, yeah, everybody said 0-1 earlier. Um, um, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm. I don't think this was a draw in any way. But yeah. Um. But yes. Okay. So. I. We will have to double check that for sure. We will wait and see. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that was pretty nice. In any case. Um. Um, we have, I think we're going to have another interview. There are a lot of interviews today, that's pretty nice. Um, because some women players also are finishing and they're going to be here. Um, but let's check the games that are still going on. Like, Krobo Gordio, Krobo is winning on this end game. Krobo is winning this end game. But somebody's coming to an interview and I'm scared. Who is it? Who is it? Uh, where is it? Uh, oh. We have Fabiano here. He drew. Yes, I'm still here. I'm still here. But we're gonna wait. We're gonna be having interview with Fabiano Caruana. Just a second. I will turn the camera around. And yeah, like, so, but in this game, so Bishop A1 happened. What is this actually? Krasenko, Krasenko beat Alexenko when he knocked him out of the tournament, which I don't know what happened, but Krasenko is playing so well. And But in this game, he's losing. Just, I don't know what happened exactly. Mm. Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, so G4 takes, takes. Yeah, Karsenko just lost in this position. He doesn't have any pawns, and White is just so nice, active, not king, and so, so on. But Berkic, yeah, Berkic won. Berkic won. Okay, just a second, just a, just a second, please. Okay, just a second.
So tomorrow you can have my thesis. It's, it's in the phone, obviously. And um, I think you can get wake up. Yeah, for one time, I guess. Thank you. 
Just give me a few seconds. Um, I can feel the heat from my computer because so much streaming. Um, okay, here we go. Let's go back to commentary. And if Anna would like to join us, um, we will see about that in a few minutes. She she has to do another interview. Um, okay, is she still there? Yeah, yeah, I'm still here. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, but let's quickly just check um, a few games. Let's check the women's section very briefly, okay? Um, just let's check Goryachkina. Um, so this is what happened. Um, okay. So Goryachkina is not scared of the C3 pawn. I would be kind of scared though. I think Black is doing so great. No, no, no I'm wrong, of course. So White is actually winning in this position. <laughs> of course, I'm wrong. No, surprise, surprise. Yes, Anna's sister is also there, Maria. Um, so yes, everybody, everybody's uh, still here. But she's not here, she's still playing. I think Maria is... Uh, oh no, Maria drew, Maria drew, okay. But Anna won. Let's let's see how she won before she if she comes here. Let's just briefly see how she won. So Anna was black. Oh, in King H2 was a big mistake. Okay, because just the pawn is lost, and now it's just over, which is very nice to win in this kind of fashion. And A5, great move. Um, of course, taking is extremely wrong because well, extremely. Wrong. It's not, but it's harder to win if you if you're only playing on one side. Well, if um, you're playing with a5, you're still playing on this side and at the same time on this side, so it's easier to win this kind of position. But uh, oh. <laughs> so after this, um, I, I don't know what what they played, but um, probably this or this. But um, I think she resigned after this or something. But yeah, Anna, Anna, so pretty nice. Um, Carissa won, Gunina won against Harika, wow. Um, Gunina won against Harika, okay. Oh, he did just left, he just had to interview for chess.com as well, so that was so nice of him that he just stayed here and interviewed with everyone. I'm whispering, this is now ASMR stream, ASMR commentary. Um, but knight h5, very nice move by Gunina, knight h5, beautiful, beautiful position. This is typical Gunina win, you know, she just crushes, literally crushes. She's literally crushes. And yeah, GG. Well played, GG. Um, then the answer the castle draw, Kashlinskaya won, yes, we saw that, but she's really won, very interesting. And uh, Kramlin Kostinuk still going on. Kramlin Kostinuk still, still going on. Let's see what happened. So this we saw, and we saw this. This is where we left it off, H4. Hopefully, uh, wait just a second, hopefully everything's fine. Would you interview me? Magnus? Magnus already left. Magnus already left, he's not here. But uh, next time, hopefully. Um, yes, 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 yes. More YouTube videos. We'll try, we'll try. I just don't have time right now because I'm in Sochi, you know, I'm in Sochi, uh, in Russia. So let's just see what happened. A4 takes, look here. And.
Any add VT, paste this, this. Yes? You, okay. <laughs> just, just to talk a bit about your game. <laughs> um, so you can tell us, because, yeah, you won. It's, you know, very nice to win. <laughs> I am. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, are we live? Or yeah, we are live. Oh, live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we are live. So, yeah, we actually, we just checked the game. We saw the opening. Uh, better you skip that. <laughs> <laughs> we skip that. No, but you, you, oh, yeah, yeah, we were, no, but like three, it was fine, but she played b4 and then she took on d5. That was really weird, no? Uh, well, or, first I did something weird okay. because uh, you may ask, like, uh, who is playing bishop before and then bishop is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought we, we, we thought we prepared that, but okay. No, no, oh, no I, I thought time, yeah. I spent like half of my time here oh, literally okay. because I, uh, I think I was going to play e5. And then I realized that after a3, yes. take, take, yes. Uh, it takes d4, there is this intermediate move before, and okay. then she takes on e4 with the knight, and then queen e4 check, and I'm uh. just losing the pawn, and I'm like, oh my god, what do I have to oh. do? <laughs> and I couldn't find anything better than just to, you know, move the pieces back with bishop e7, but... Uh, but it turned out well for you at the end. I mean, she also didn't know what to do exactly. Yeah, but any move she makes, she is better, <laughs> so... That's true, yeah, yeah. Uh, so she so goes a3, yeah. A3 is fine, uh, 97, yeah. then she played... No, before it actually makes sense, um, maybe she could play bishop d3 or something normal, because yeah. obviously... I was expecting, yeah, something bishop yeah. d3, then castle and f4, yeah. and she's playing with, I don't know, five tempies up or yes. whatever. Something yes. or it's just very unpleasant for black. Uh, what she did, I think, wasn't that great. Yeah. Um, but she had an idea, so okay. uh, she takes the takes the five, bishop d3. Mm -hmm. uh, now castle is impossible because of knight takes d5. Okay, that's clear. Okay, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, if I make a few moves, like uh, one or two moves, then I am completely fine. Yeah. But she was hoping for um, uh, for this idea again after castle there is knight d5. Mm -hmm. And even after bishop d7 there oh, is knight d5 wow. if I take, take. Uh, bishop c6, yes. uh, b5, uh, this, takes, 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 and, okay, this should be just quite yeah. bad for me, because two pawns for an exchange, and, and the very strong bishop. And a very strong pawn on b7, <laughs> I think that worried me a little bit more. Okay. Uh, so I had to lose another time of oh. playing uh, queen to d8, oh, okay. and that's what she was hoping. And once again, if we're very concrete, yes. I don't have time to castle. I Take, yes, take. To... Again, I can't <laughs> castle. Uh, so bishop d7, and um, somewhere here, well, uh, the relation is so so good for me. Eh? Oh, yeah, yeah, about rook c8. Yeah. Uh, is it bishop c6 immediately or 95? It says. Yeah, apparently. Rook c8 is that. also very good, actually. Yeah, but then uh, she played this d5, uh, which oh. is quite strong. Uh, because otherwise, yeah, again, one more castle and I'm okay, fine. Again. But d5, and uh, here I didn't like my position so much, also I was very low on time. Mm -hmm. So bishop d5. Mm -hmm. uh, what was that? An i5? Bishop d7? Yeah. yeah, it was quite complicated. Also, knight d5, um, queen g4, I calculated. Uh, so, knight of force is right, but queen to g4, what's wrong? Oh my god, this, this is some deep line, okay, yeah. Just, just f5, queen g7, rook f8, oh, that's... No, 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 I don't want to see yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, but bishop, uh, bishop d5 looks very normal, I guess, yeah. Yeah, bishop d5. Oh, and you yeah. have to go king of And here, play. yeah, okay. it's definitely, she had, uh, yeah, knight of 6, I think, was a mistake. I was considering knight c3 immediately, or, yeah, like, mm -hmm. uh, Peter is suggesting that it is knight c3. Because after she, after she takes on f6, uh, I change pieces and, and I get the uh, e7 and g7 squares for the king. And then I can develop my rook faster. But mm -hmm. when uh, the pieces are still there, like I still have problems with the king. And also yes. this bishop is very strong, so she had to play against it. Yes. Um, yeah, I think knight of six was one of them. One of her mistakes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Rook c1, queen d8. Take, take, queen e3. And then, then okay, I, I think I started to play normally, but. Yeah, now you're fine. Yeah, now, right? 
Yeah, still or like here, yeah. maybe queen g3, and then queen f4, I don't know, queen g3, king mm -hmm. seven. I was going to play the mm -hmm. rook c7, this mm -hmm. would have been dangerous, I mm -hmm. thought, rook f8, but what's wrong with rook f8? Yeah, this is the line of calculating bishop d3, or then bishop d2, why definitely it's has not, enough compensation yeah, for it's scary, I guess, yeah. Maybe not more, but uh, not like, uh, not like losing. Mm -hmm. uh, but then she started to spend time, and after I, yeah, after this, uh, uh, okay, now oh, it's definitely okay. I am blown up, and I developed all my pieces, and yeah. the king saves. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you were struggling a bit at the beginning, but yes. <laughs> but at the end, like still, you're more experienced, and you just like yeah, knew how to play this position. Yeah, I was at the beginning. I was. Confused, but yeah, again, like even if she takes on d5, I thought that's usually like not the best thing to do, especially when you have so much pressure. But yeah, she, with, even with that position, she was a bit better. But yeah, like you, you managed very well. So congratulations for that. Yeah, and yeah, thank you. And tomorrow you're white, and yeah, like you only need the draw. So, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Congratulations and thank you for for telling us about the game. That's really nice. Yes, and I'm sure that Licha's chat really enjoyed it. So thank you very much. No, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Everybody knows you're also a streamer, yeah. Well, at least you were uh, part-time part part streamer. Yeah. yeah, me too. But like you, you know your way around these waters, I guess. Yeah, I started streaming when the pandemic started, uh, so I have. Uh, a channel on Twitch and on YouTube, but uh, during the last two months, as I had a Grand Prix and was preparation for the World Cup, I couldn't uh, stream and I had some break. But uh, do you miss it? Do you miss it a bit or I, just... I enjoy streaming actually, so I like it uh, and I think uh, I will continue. Okay, not regular, but just from time to time. Just <laughs> that's so nice. That's really nice. So yeah, everybody will go follow her on Twitch and YouTube. <laughs> And yes, I can't wait yeah, for you to continue your journey here and to also stream again. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. See you. Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay. Long day today, but so many nice interviews. It's so such a great day, such a cool day. It's, it's really, really, really nice with Anna Muzichuk. Okay, and hopefully we're gonna have another interview as well with Sara Kadem from Iran. But <laughs> hello, <laughs> we're gonna have another interview. Yay! <laughs> uh, let me just go to get your game. Um, so you won. Uh, no, I drew. But oh, you oh you drew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drew. Oh, you played my opponent. Yeah, I, yeah, from, <laughs> from yesterday. So I was knocked out by uh, Mamadzada Gunai. So. Uh, if, if you would like, I would love if you just talked a bit about your game, like, if that's fine. Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, so, like, this was all yeah, preparation. Yeah, this was my preparation, but here, I mean... Yeah? It's, like, okay. after bishop e3, knight e7, I didn't know move d5, I don't think it was ah. the best move, so... Ah, but you also didn't know it, so... Yeah, I mean, she thought for a long time, I think she just wanted to avoid the preparation, so okay. that's why she went for a d5. Okay, okay. But usually when, in these positions, when the opponent goes d5, you're usually doing fine, yes? Yeah, I mean, especially some... when she, like, exchanged all the bishops. So. Oh. <laughs> oh, she exchanged all yeah, the I bishops. Yeah, I mean, now I try, not, I try ah. to keep one because I had, like, white-colored bishops. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, here when I had the chance to play b5, I thought maybe I should use it, and... Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not sure about my move knight g6. I mean, here okay. I was a bit afraid of c move c5 because if oh, I was okay. hanging, so so up here c5. No, no, I mean before oh. that. So oh. that's why I played knight g6. But usually I was okay. thinking of ah. something like for c6 or I mean just castle f5 or f5 here. Uh -huh. But I was not so for sure. For example, so. like this c5. Yeah, c5 yeah, is this, a good move. Yeah. This it could go c5. But so after, maybe before that I could go f5. I don't know. I was um, no, actually knight g6 is the best move. Like mm. at least on Lich's <laughs> engine. I don't know what that okay, means. Right. <laughs> but, <laughs> but you know, at least somewhere is the best move. Yeah. <laughs> so knight c3 so castle. Right. castle. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and she goes knight e1, okay. I, I played b4 and then a5. Oh, c5, okay. Yeah, I went c5. That's actually Because after nice. a5, I thought like she uh -huh. could go 
A3 maybe because after A4 like she can just stay. Oh, the I mean, the, the, the B4, B4 yeah, one, the B4, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's true. And then yeah, of course you cannot just go. So yeah, she has A3 in here. Yeah, you would have to take, and that's not the best. Or maybe Knight A6. I mean, I could still go mm -hmm. A5 too, but I thought I can also go for C5. I mean, yeah, then something like this would happen, I guess. Yeah. I mean, it's still playable, but C5 looks very interesting, yeah, as well. Uh, she took it, yeah? Yeah, she and took it. I took the, the bishop, bishop, okay. I had That's to, true. and here I went to A5. Yes. So it's kind of the same thing I thought after A3, I can just go, like... 96, or maybe here I could just give a check. I mean, here it would be better for me. I, I have queen b6 check, so... Yeah, so then it's... Yeah. yeah, so after queen b6, king h1, you have a4, because now you yeah, can't, like, because can now you actually check, just yeah. take the bishop. Mm -hmm. It's different. Yeah, that's that's very nice. So c5 was very practical. Um, so, yeah, that's why... Um, she went bishop, bishop a4, a4, which is just and, yeah, logical in a way, yeah. So I gave a check here. Of course, king h1. And then I took on a4. Yes. I couldn't yes. come up with a better way. Oh, oh yeah, this is a pretty good move. I mean... Like you, you don't have really straightforward plans, I guess. I mean, you have to develop this one yeah. somehow. So I went rook c7 here because I thought, like, if b3, then it. <laughs> that would be so yeah. nice. The queen here stuck on a4. But I mean, like, for, also <laughs> if rook c1, I I can just play something like knight a6 or rook c8. I, don't yeah. know. I thought I would be better. I mean, rook f c8 yeah. looks good. Here. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah. yeah. So she played. She played queen b3. Queen, oh, queen c2. Sorry, yeah. Queen c2. Queen yeah. c2. Uh, oh, Queen City, okay. Knight B7, you're finally developing. Yeah. But I, mean, I mean, you're having, yeah, uh, like if I was not looking at the computer, I would say that Black is doing like greatly. Yeah, I, mean, I, I thought I should be the one to push, <laughs> and I pushed till the end, but somehow it didn't work. So. Oh, okay. But maybe I was better at some point. I mean, here I played, uh -huh. no, I mean, like right after. Okay. I played f5 here. Oh, very ambitious, yeah. But after she took, I was afraid of, like, if knight f5, then queen d5 check. Oh, uh, oh, like if you take queen, queen d5, d5, king h8. Uh, king h8, then f4. Oh, f4, okay. Yeah, so and now she's... white is better, so I thought I had to go f... I mean, you I couldn't just... take, so I just played it. That is the best move, so. Pretty nice. And takes, takes, and queen d3. Yeah, so I went back with the knight. Okay, and after queen h3, now you can take now because I not check. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, your your knights are very very active. But here so I think she could just go b4, but she doesn't go for it. Okay, so b4, I like to exchange I mean, even yeah, more it, stuff. It yeah, was, it was a better move for for this one. Yeah, yeah, because the one she played, I was I was better, but she played knight c3. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But you're better, you play because queen of queen b3, b3 and she doesn't yeah. have b4. No, but here she got some trick that she took. Mm -hmm. And after taking knight a3, because after knight oh. e3, I, she has knight d5. So. Oh, and yeah. the idea is that she has knight e7 yeah. check in the like, dark. That's very nice. Mm -hmm. Or maybe lucky. I don't <laughs> so yeah, so it took this. And this, okay, you have to go back and knight, same material. Knight f5, I had to go. Yes. So here I went. Rook c8. Rook c8, which I'm not sure I mean. Well, I don't know here. Okay, rook a8 is a weird move to play, no? Yeah, probably. What, what's the idea of rook a8? Was it rook a6? No, it's like, I think uh, just, like we should just pass him. Okay, let's I mean, see. Uh, oh, now white first. wouldn't get knight a7, knight b5, which she did in the game, so probably we would. I don't know, like like a computer is like... Yeah, but this should be also it. holdable, I mean. Yeah, for sure, yeah. for sure, for sure. Yeah. So yeah, rook c8, very nice. This, and rook c5. It's, the knights are so tricky, there's too many of them. <laughs> yeah, she was low on time, so I oh. thought I, I could try. Okay, okay. Ah, okay, so here you take... Here take. I took, yeah, but rook b6. Huh. And, and she just if I just play rook c2 check, she will just go king. I mean, I played yeah, that played king, it, yeah. king g3. King g3. If I take, then she can just go knight c3, and and then I cannot move. So you cannot even move. Yeah, yeah you cannot I cannot move the knight. You cannot move the pawn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's terrible. Then so um, I didn't take on b2, but it would have been an equally. Yeah. So I just went knight d4, and she went knight c3, knight d2, and here. Oh, we and you you take your yeah. draw because this is yeah drawing. Yeah, I mean, I thought I couldn't do anything anymore. No, yeah, no, for sure. That's a very nice game. You had a very nice position with Black, yeah. But when she plays, she played 
quite well, I would say. Yeah, so she did hard, really yeah. well, and she was, I mean, low on time, so with that time, I think she did really well. Yeah, yeah, I think she she's pretty good in this type of positions, yes. I don't know, at <laughs> least I experienced that as well against her, so, I mean, like, so yeah, like good game and you're playing white tomorrow so good luck for that thank and you so much thank you so much for coming here <laughs> for the you. and yeah show the game thank you thank so much you. <laughs> bye bye goodbye okay guys that was again very exciting interview yes she will avenge my loss i'm sure she will and or we'll see exciting tie breaks you never know <laughs> Yeah, multiple chiquitas come in handy in moments like this, yeah. Um, so I think, I don't know if uh, chiquitas are live right now. I don't know. Yeah, that was a very nice uh, interview. And let's just quickly sum the results and then we will be, I think, uh, raiding chiquitas. I will just, yeah, let's just sum up the results. So Goyachkina is still playing. Um, Okay, great, we already did that's Lara's life. Okay, sure. Because I, I told them that they maybe show the game of the round or something. So you will, will be continuing the World Cup hype there at the Chikina's channel. But uh, so yeah, Goyashkina, I think this looks very equal. They're still playing. Lagno um, has a knight, rook, and a pawn against rook and three pawns. So this is winnable for Lagno. But in case this pawn is exchanged or falls, it's theoretically a draw. So um, this is going to be very interesting to watch. So I recommend you watch this as well. So Muzicuk Maria drew against Anna Ushenina. Muzicuk Anna beat Gishard. Um, Zagnidze lost against Deep Carissa. Very big upset of today. Very nice game as well. Gunina won against Harika. Uh, Tan Zhongui beat Sebak Marie. Uh, Danilian Sadukasova was a draw. Kashlinskaya Galimova. Kashinska managed to win. We watched this game. We just saw the interview of Sarah Khanem. She was black. It drew against my bitter <laughs> Mamadzade Gunai. But Yashvili won against Zavatska. And then we have the draw between um, Shuvalova and Garifulina Lea. I'm sorry. But I know that both are very young and very talented and hope of the Russian chess in the future. I know that they need any hope. They're already like the best in the world. So. So Pets Gulnar was a draw. We also saw her interview. Pets came here to explain her Karakan ideas. It was very nice. Um, Kostinyuk beat Kramling. We saw that she was winning. Kostinyuk was winning. And let's just check the final position. Uh, we did expect her to win. So um, this was uh, last moves of the game. So this was the last position. And um, Kramling decided to resign because it's basically just very lost. Um, so Asabayeva against Kotenashvili was a draw, we knew that, and Pogonina last against uh, Stefanova Antonita, Antoanita <laughs> was a draw. Um, so this sums up the Women's World Cup of today, but in the men's section, open section, sorry, not the men, open section, we had quite a few exciting games. Carlson won against Tari Aryan in a very tricky way. Like I, we already thought this is gonna be a draw. I was 99% sure it was gonna be a draw um, because of I'm gonna show you why. Because um, of this repetition they had right here, and then I decided to take the pawn and play for a win with one minute on the clock, which was very exciting. And then Arian blundered 97, which runs into either 96 or after King 7 checkmate on H5. So. Very nice win by Magnus. Karana drew against um, Jumbayo, but we saw this was a very equal game. Anyway, Kvalo actually beat Cheng Bobby. Cheng Bobby actually qualified to the third round because uh, I don't think he actually had any... I think he played the first round, but last round her, he was supposed to play against Aronian, but Aronian, due to health issues, had to forfeit. So now he's playing the third round and he lost against Kvalo. Abdusator is still playing against Giri, but I think this is supposed to be a draw. Uh, very soon, yet it's a draw, but we'll see what's gonna happen. Grishchuk beat Pisho, we saw that. Um, Martyrosian beat Majar, we saw that as well. MVL against Peruvian was a draw. Kori Sinjaro was a draw. Uh, Vakido beat Poncrato. 
um, and Koyakin beat Oparin. Well, so many games, so many decisive games as well. Her Krishna beat Lepulescu as well. Duda drew. Um, Vidit beat Atiban. We saw he, him. We, he was here on the interview. Very nice interview. Very good guy. Follow him on YouTube or subscribe, they said on YouTube. Um, so, <laughs> Andrekin beat Nihal in a very unfortunate way. It was a tricky situation because Nihal didn't have time, but it was a draw end game. But Andrekin did win, now we have the official score as well. It was not a draw. And Nikita beat Shiro from a very, very nice opening. Uh, so, Vityuga, of course. Abbaso Sipinko was a draw. Dubo uh, beat Malaho. Dubo beat Malaho, very interesting. We have not checked this game, but um, very good score. Ceparino drew Swidler. Ivic beat Bluebaum. Wow, okay, that's a big upset of the day. Um, yeah, we're just summing up, guys. But that's a big, big upset of the day. Um, Ivic is a Serbian grandmaster, and he already beat Paco Valero in the last round, and now he's at least going to tiebreaks with Bluebaum. Bluebaum is an amazing player and I, wow, that's just, wow. Gondelius is still playing against John Jeffrey, but I think, what is this? Wait, 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 wait. we should, wait, what is this? The X? What is this? Is this winning for white? Oh, it's winning, but only after King D4. King D4 is the only winning move, that's a, Wow. So actually, like the only drawing move for black is knight c3. It, wow. Okay, that's insane end game. That's an insane end game still going on. Um, Tomaszewski drew against Idani and Tabatebe beat Yuyangi. That was a very interesting game. Artemio Gelfand was a draw. Bakro uh, Basem was a draw. Manfor is still playing against Purun Kasper. And. I think Black should be winning this. So One Forest is losing. Fernanda beat Krasenko. Verkic beat Salem. Korobo beat Georgio. Navarra um, is still playing Grabaili. No, what is this? White is actually doing pretty well, but it's apparently equal. Uh, Fedoseo beat Guerrero. Shankland drew Arishchenko. And Vojtazic drew Metlako. So these are all the games. Some still going on. Um, but it was very, very nice. Oh, Blue Bomb played the car, so lost, damn it. <laughs> Blue Bomb should have played knight 6 Oh, damn. Yeah, this was the. Yeah, this, like. She, he should have played knight 6 Hello, hello, hello. Um, we're just finishing the stream. I think my computer is extremely overheating at this point. Um, um, let's just check. Like this endgame, what is he gonna do? Like, they're thinking, but the only move is knight c3 that draws. And let's just check this. This, for example, king, what is this, this? Oh, and after this, there's this, okay. So, if, for example, this, he takes h4, b5, before h5, king here, um, h6, this, 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 queen, <laughs> and <laughs> queen, <laughs> maybe this is gonna happen. <gasps> Oh, he blundered. He played king b3. He blundered. He didn't play knight c3. Knight c3 was the only drawing move, but that's hard to see. He took. So now Grandelius is actually winning if he plays king d4. I'm sorry. I should stop the stream, but I don't want to. This is so exciting. Guys, don't, isn't this exciting? Man. Yes, I should rain. <laughs> I don't think there are going to be any more interviews, but look at this. So the only drawing move is knight c3. Very hard to see, by the way. But he takes, and if Grandelius sees king d4, it's the only winning move. He's gonna win because he cannot stop the pawn. Black cannot stop the promotion. Well, I mean, like this, 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 sorry, this, this, and just king c6 after this, king d7, and knight g7, and then just h4 or f4. Both seems to be fine. Let's just check this, 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 and this is a winning. Um, so King B3 is on the board, very exciting. So that's very, very, it's just a dictionary. Email. So thank you so much for being here. I'm going to be raising Chiquitas. Um, 
That was very tricky. Yeah. I'm going to be rating Chiquitas. Um, they're also going to be commentating a bit on the World Cup, maybe on the results. Maybe are, they're going to have a game of the day. Um, <laughs> see you tomorrow. Yes, thank you so much, guys, for being here. The games are really exciting. I, I'm not sure what Chiquitas are doing right now, but hope you're going to have a good time. Follow the channel. Um, and we should listen yet yeah, to the, the good music right now. Just give me a second. I will open the good music. Um, I will open the good music uh, for the end. I just have to find it. Just give me a second. I have it. I have it. I swear. I swear I have it. I have it. Mastered with thunder. Here we go. Hopefully you guys are going to be able to see it, to hear it. Sorry. You hear it? Oh, yes. I'm not sure if you hear the music, but tell me if you don't. Yes, guys, yes. thank you so much for being here. Um, this is the new Leeches remix. I recommend you listen to it. Very nice song, very Leeches. nice song. Uh, <laughs> hope you guys were enjoying it. It was very fun and having all the interviews from Bidi to Pitch yes. to Muzi Chukana to Zara Kadem. Very, very, very beautiful. Um, so, yes, thank you guys and see you tomorrow, same time, be here.